This is try number two or three or four or however many you, you did, whatever. Number fucking, several. Yeah, number several. Uh, I'm trying to get this fucking thing to work correctly. So yeah. certain games do not like to be recorded, and unfortunately, uh, MechWarrior is one of the more recording-friendly ones. So this is where we're going to go for now. Yep. So to start off with, my friend here is not initiated into the Battletech cult as not I have been. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Um, I grew up with this series. Um, my dad kind of grew up, I grew up with it too. So, or well, I, I didn't say grew up with it, but like he played it a lot when he was in the military. So, I watched the cartoon back in the day, and it was fucking awful. Well, it's awful now. I didn't. It did, had. A, it has not aged well. So, we're talking like this is the threshold of when like 3D uh, CGI anima uh, uh, animations were just getting into TV. I remember when like 3D would start to be a thing in like South Park. So I experimented with it quite a bit. There's these really awkward moments in the old South Park where it just flicks to 3D for no reason. Really? Yeah, and it's really awkward and it just doesn't fit the whole thing. So I know what you're talking about. So it was all in that like really primitive crap CGI. Yeah, it was so crap. Yeah. Right, I'm going to change the audio here because this game is pretty loud. Yeah, I know nothing about this world, about the Battletech world, other than what I've seen on my mate's channel here. So big stompy robots, lots of lasers, very 80s. Lasers, son. Fucking lasers. Fucking You know, I'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> I, I'm going to get on a soapbox now. <laughs> yes. It's, this, this took 10 seconds. Okay. Yes. On YouTube comments, people always on those videos with the fucking laser sights. Yeah. They always put soits, like S O I. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not, he's not a cockney. That's wrong. <laughs> he's not saying soits, he's saying sights. So where is he from then? He's from up north, isn't he? He's from the, the proper end of England. Ah. I see. That well. does irritate me. I, I, I'm glad that got brought up. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking laser sights. Myth. He's not saying sights. Myth dispelled. Yeah, fucking gone forever. Never say it again. <laughs> You're wrong. Your ears are wrong. Anyway, sorry. Anyway. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's good. It's good. So. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so a brief rundown. And, and, and well, I've actually kind of introduced a little bit my friend here about what Battletech is because on my wall over here you guys can't see it obviously but on my wall over here I've got a couple of handmade plaques of the various factions houses clans that kind of thing yeah they're good yeah uh, a good friend of mine uh, does wood woodwork um, he does these stuff for uh, commissions basically and he does he does really really good work I'll probably put his link down to his uh, his store page yeah you gotta, uh, you gotta plug that you just yeah I'm gonna, you gotta plug that shit. I'll plug the shit out of that um, uh, my friend here has also uh, introduced me to the board game. It was fun. I got my ass kicked. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tabletop. Tabletop. Yeah, we played the, uh, the board game. Tabletop, Tabletop is, 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 is definitely fun. Yeah, it's good. Uh, now that I know more about it, too, I can definitely speak more on authority about that. So, anyway. That, uh, that screen that you were just on is just yeah, yeah. information fucking overload. <laughs> for you, maybe. Yeah, for the uninitiated, yes. Um, but I've I've been playing with this structure of game for for many 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 years. How long have you been playing this one? Um, I've played this one since. The... Not, I don't mean just Steam. I mean forever. Yeah, yeah. So uh, when this was initially revealed, it was it was it was called MechWarrior Five, and they had a trailer uh, revealed for it, and it was all like you know uh, pre-made movie and stuff like that. But it was really cool. No. That didn't work so well because the so. Without getting too technical, so the, uh, some of the initial IP owners for some of the mech designs were Japanese, and yeah. they're called Harmony Gold. And so Battletech is a Japanese company. No, 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 no. Battletech is from America. Absolutely. So how do they have the rights to the mech? So, <laughs> Let, yeah, okay. Let's not yeah. dip into the weeds if it's not interesting. But the history, the history is when 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 FASA, FASA is the original company that made Battletech, way back in like early '80s, mm -hmm. and they needed art and mech assets to use to make their game start, to get off the ground, basically. Right? All right. So they talked to this Japanese company that happened to own Robotech uh, and, and, and various other uh, IPs like uh, Crusher Joe and Dogrim, which are various other anime, mecha animes way back I have back no then. idea what those things are. They're super old. <laughs> anyway, so they talked to these people and said, hey, can we, can we legally borrow your, your artwork and design so we can use it in our game? Get it off the ground. Fair enough. And most of them said, "Yeah, sure." Oh, so they acquired like the the rights to use them in their stuff, and that gave them the rights like to own those things, uh, or to use them. Not necessarily right. own them, but use them. Yeah. So most of them were cool with it. 
But Harmony Gold, which is the Robotech side, uh, uh, came back later and said, you guys can't use this shit. Right, yeah, this and, is ours. Yeah, and they straight up, like, sued him, and there was a whole legal back and forth, you know, a little slapping fest. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, MechWarrior 5 got canned because Harmony Gold came out and said, no, no, you can't do that. Copyright is going to bring a species back to the caves. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's a little history lesson there about this game. Okay. So anyway, um, they went past that and they said, okay, we're going to continue with this game anyways. And they made it um, uh, online only, multiplayer. Okay. Oh, they said a campaign? Originally, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, that was their intention to start with, but it didn't work out that way. Um, now we have what we have here. Uh, and this started about late 2011, 2012, around there. And they had a closed beta that was open only to people who donated to the game early, like a Kickstarter kind of thing. They call it Founders. I imagine you were on that list. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. when I found out a new, a new MechWarrior game was coming out, I was, I was, I was shitting my pants. Right. Because the last <laughs> MechWarrior game that came out was 2004. Oh, jeez. That's a huge gap. Oh, that's like waiting for a Primus album. <laughs> or, you know, Half-Life 3 or something like that. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I, I backed it. I started playing it right when it first came out um, during the closed beta, and that was an experience in and of itself. Um, and now we're here. Yeah. You know, uh, however many years later, six years later, and it's still going. Cool, good. So, uh, definitely an improvement. This is game six years old? Yeah. It looks really good for it. I mean, not this screen, obviously. It's just flat shit, but look at that. It's a six-year-old game. It runs off uh, CryEngine, so... So this came out one year after New Vegas, and it looks as good as this. Uh, I'd say about two years after New Vegas. Give it a little bit of credit. <laughs> so. Well, Vegas came out in 2010, I think. Yeah, but, but the, the engine that New Vegas is based off of was... was I'm just saying. It's, I'm just saying. It's newer than that, and, well, slightly, and it, it looks good. I, I thought it was, like, being cool or something. So, you started playing this in 2011. Just about, yeah. Okay. Right, right at the tail end. So you have, what, six, seven hundred hours in this on Steam? Yeah, just on Steam. How alone. long has it been out on Steam? Uh, not that long. Okay. I'd say maybe a year and a half now, something like that. year and a half. Okay, so, whoa! So... Like, overall, over the many, many years, you have probably played the absolute living shite out of the game. Oh, yeah. Like, you... So you're, like, the, the, one of the world's go-to authorities on this game. I wouldn't go that far, because I've never really, like, put myself out there as, like, a super-duper expert. But... Well, I mean, you don't have to put yourself out there. I'm sure there's a bunch of Koreans that are playing StarCraft that actually <laughs> kick ass that nobody yeah, has an ammo. That's true. Um, I mean... So this game does have a skill, uh, a skill tier system. It's uh, like battle rating type. Yeah, so you got you got tier one all the way down to tier five. Okay. Tier five is the is the quote unquote worst, where tier one is the quote unquote best. Okay. And I say quote unquote because if you play long enough, you will eventually right. reach tier one. Right, it's so, the grindy type. Yeah, so some people consider it like oh, it's just an XP bar. Yeah. But if you are literally so bad that you cannot climb out of your own tier, <laughs> um, you will stay in the tier. Okay. That you're at. So it, it works and it doesn't work. Right. But I've been playing this game forever in a day, so it was very easy for me to just climb up the ranks. Cause... Right. So, also, that's a Texas flag oh, I like right there. Oh, Texas flag there, you nerd. Hell yeah, man. Got to represent. Yeah. Yeah. Space Texas. Everyone from Texas has to represent Texas. Really? Yeah. Every single player from Texas? Yes, every single one. Has, that is has, amazing. Has a duty and responsibility <sighs> to do that. Impressive. Now, unfortunately, though, um, the, the one faction that is from Texas in the lore... Is, Wake, <laughs> is Waco's Rangers, right? Uh -huh. And Waco's Rangers fucking sucks because okay. they, uh, their, their, their owner, it's a mercenary company, right? Their owner went fucking psycho. Okay. And he had this huge vendetta. Was there like a cult thing and then the ATF had to get involved? Uh, Tons of people died. Horrible, no. no. That's, that's so horrible you mentioned that. <gasps> but no, 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 nothing like that. Uh, in fact, it's much worse. So... The leader of Waco's Rangers had a uh, he had a vendetta against another group called Wolf Dragoons. Yeah, and Wolf Dragoons was like the shittest, hottest mercenary group the Interspheres ever seen. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, this came this vendetta came right around what they call the uh, the the jihad period. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not kidding you. Okay. Um. So basically, what they did is they went to the home system of the uh, the Wolf Dragoons, which is called Outreach. And outreach is like the mercenary home world. It's like that's where everyone goes to hire mercenaries. Right. It's 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 big big hub world. Uh, Waco's Rangers owner got so pissed off 
He's just like, you know what? Fuck it. We can't beat him. We're going to get some nukes from Word of Blake, which is this other faction I'll tell you about. We're going to get nukes from them, and we're going to fucking nuke Outreach. So they ended up actually going, like, working with the Word of Blake and nuking Outreach. So you know a shit ton about the lore. I do. Okay. I do. It's very expansive. So uh, to make it as simple as possible, take Game of Thrones, like, kind of politicking. <laughs> you don't want to like, read or play no, the games, Game I don't. of Thrones, so... I don't, but take that... That intrigue and the politicking and 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 and, and all that, right? Yeah. Put it in space <laughs> and give it giant robots. Okay, that does sound good. I'll give you that. So fair enough. So I'm surprised you got all sensitive there about the Waco thing. I've never seen you get sensitive about anything ever before. Well, it, it's it's just because you know Waco is a town in Texas. Yeah. And they're they're represented so poorly in the in the fluff. <laughs> yeah. As being fucking psychos that just can't seem to give up a vendetta. Right. You know they end up nuking a whole planet. Ah, I see. And then. So, then. Yeah, yeah, the space ATF, yeah. Yeah, space ATF. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, uh, I, anyway, so... So we're still in the menu screens. Yeah, so this is the Let's mech jump lab. jump in and murder some robots. Yeah, this is the mech lab. I'll take my favorite mech out, which is, which is this one right here called the Yunlo Wang. Okay. Which uh, is like Chinese for like... The Ch uh, yeah, Chinese. Chinese. I know, I know Chinese, and okay. it has... We already talked about this, Yeah, so. we did. All right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Battletech doesn't know the difference between Chinese and Japanese. That's not racist. This fine. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's totally cool, man. So I'll take out this Yenlo Wang, which is like Chinese for God of Death or something like that. All right, cool. Um, this is my absolute favorite one to pilot. It's got a big gun, two lasers, and a fast engine. All right. So let's just uh, take it in a match here now. Uh, this is gonna take a little while because it has a matchmake. That's, yeah, I mean that's multiplayer. Play. Yeah, it's kind of like War Thunder, I guess, has the same thing. Yep. Uh, yeah, it does. And, well, War Thunder is really heavily dependent on what plane you're trying to fly. Let's go to HPG Manifold, which is in space. It's not like in a vacuum, so when you fire stuff, you don't hear it. When you jump, do you never stop jumping? No, it does have gravity. Somehow. Well, it, I think it's because you're, you're on a moon that doesn't have an atmosphere. Well, moons have gravity. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So I'm not really going to explain the, the game modes too much because... Nah, you don't yeah. need to go into detail. I mean, All it comes down to is, like, kill the other team. <laughs> That's right. basically what it comes down so to. So there's no, like, objectives. No no, there is objectives, and you can win the game through objectives, but what happens most of the time is other, other teams just kill each other. And you have, like, a melee type of smash them in the face type of... Unfortunately, no. That'd be fun. There is no melee combat in this, and a lot of people are very sore about it. Oh, yeah, but there's the thing where, like, if you run out of ammo and the other guy's out of ammo, you, like, slam into each other, like, awkwardly, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say slam. You kind of rub against each other. <laughs> Until one of them decides to die out of politeness. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have actually seen that, and there's a hilarious video out there of these two guys who actually did run out of ammo. And they, they spend about two minutes, like, rubbing each other, like, jousting, <laughs> almost. <laughs> and they hit each other just kind of like, yeah. rub, rub, rub. <laughs> Oh. That's more amusing. I'm glad they didn't put melee in it if it's going to be that funny. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's pretty funny. So, unfortunately, uh, there's this guy called Bearclaw over here. Yeah. He, oh, is he like a big time? Yeah, everyone, everyone's like, yeah, he's the fucking, he's the shit, hottest fucking guy ever. Yeah, oh, fuck okay. yeah. But bear in mind, this is going to be heard probably, possibly by him. That's fine. So... I, I, don't, I don't care what he thinks. <laughs> okay. I, I've watched his stream sometimes, and to be honest, like, I, I don't oh, enjoy... Shit. Oh, you th go on. Okay, I'm talking smack, but whatever. No, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, go on, go on. So I, You're about to play this guy. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know. I, um, I don't enjoy watching your streams because I don't... Oh! <laughs> Alright, let me, let me explain. Go on, I, go, on uh, go on, go on. I don't enjoy it because I don't like his choice of music. Oh, well, and that's not why. But... Okay, all, yeah. All he usually plays is like, I'm going to play super meta, and that's it. Okay, so he picks the most overpowered things. He's the robbers. <laughs> yeah. I don't really enjoy watching that kind. I like watching stuff that, like, I, I, I play stuff I think is fun to use. Not necessarily because it's the most okay. effective, but because I think you it's You know, fun. talking this much smack before a match, you better beat him now. Well, I could headhunt him if I really, really want to. I don't to, mean headhunt, but I but mean, if he kills you, then I'm going to I'm gonna. He might. swing my dick in your face. He might actually kill me, but this is very much a team-based game, not an individual. Right. Thing, so, if he does kill me, it's no big surprise. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to sleep over it. <laughs> okay, save him face. All right. It, it, it's not. It's not a big deal, honestly. I don't care. Well, that's a good attitude. It's not a fighting attitude, but it's a good attitude. Good. You look very stealthy. This is not meant to be stealthy. I like how you blend in. <laughs> Actually, there have been some people because look how great this map is, right? Yeah. I've seen people literally camouflage Hello. their mechs up. That's a good idea. Entirely in gray, 
and they they, a good idea. they hide against the wall and shut down, and you can't see them. That's quite clever, though. It is. It's good. That, <laughs> it's good that it allows that kind of tactic. My issue, one of my issues with the War Thunder, and in fact, a lot of online games these days, like uh, I don't know if you played Gear Up. Gear Up's a lot. Mm. Um, but the, the guys like the, who are sh like uh, the bad guys is wrong. The enemy team, I guess. Yeah. Was it War Thunder? It would be. Them. But the enemy team is always on the map. Like you, you never not see them, so you know exactly where they are all the time. And I think that kind of takes away something from it. I think Call of Duty got it game when they shoot. Oh yeah, but this game you, you, you can't see people unless someone else is targeting them. Well, so. good. I mean, that's kind of how it should be. I think it makes it a lot more. Well, anything else would make it too easy. Yeah, fair. Then you just kind of blob up and just kill them. So what does uh, what does Shazarad mean? Your, uh, your thing, your username. Uh, that's actually from. So it's kind of multi-layered. So it's from a magic card way back when. Ah, dude. But it's a magic card based off of uh, <laughs> an old Arabic legend or maybe a Persian legend. I forget which. Uh -huh. Of uh, this princess basically who did not want to marry this con uh, this conqueror. Um. Because he would kill his wives like every night. <gasps> okay, yeah, no, no joke. He must have gotten fucking through wives. Yeah, he did. The Henry VIII of the Middle East. So, it's kind of hard to see with this uh, being this far away. Anyway, um, you got this, man. World's premier number one player here. I'm not. No. <laughs> number one in the world. Well, you're at this fella's back. I assume the back is more vulnerable. Yes, the back armor is much thinner. Shit. Also, we're on European servers, so my lag is like, ah. fucking wait, like I should not have missed that shot. That's crazy. Yeah, this Why lag. Why is he not shooting you? He is. He just has a very small gun compared to me. Why is he not dead? You're kicking his ass. He has a lot of armor. This mech usually does. There we go. He's dead. Hey. See, gets a kill. Eh. The best player in the world, oh. everyone. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. The number one. Oh fuck. Well, you oh, got a shot, because you weren't paying attention. That's an assault mech. So, you have different... Oh, shit. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. That's big. Um, yeah, I'm really hurt right now, if you can see my damage display down. Oh, fuck, teammate died. I want to get the fuck out so of here. So your head and your... What is that? Your right shoulder is destroyed? My left left shoulder, left arm are exposed. Oh, so that's, like, from the back view. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, our team is... Over here. Yeah, we are. We're losing dad. Um, the best player on the worst team. Who, what was that bad law guy? What, how is he doing? Uh, he is still alive. He's, he's, okay, you got. I want you to. I want you and him to heads up, like one on one, smush into each other to death. <laughs> That's like how this match ends. I think it's gonna happen. That's what I want to see. He's talking shit, bad law. So he has a YouTube channel. He's got a Twitch. He's got a Twitch. I don't think he, I don't know if he has YouTube or not. I haven't checked. I don't. I don't really care to check. I haven't really gotten into Twitch yet. I it's, think my problem with Twitch is that it's purely and only exclusively video games, and I don't watch podcasts just for video games. It's not exclusively video games. There's other stuff Isn't on it? there. No. What uh, else do we do? There's people with creative channels and stuff like uh, Bob Ross is on there. Bob Ro Bob Ross is dead. No, he he has like a 24 hour like uh, marathon. Oh, you mean like a. Uh, like a oh, yeah, he has a stream where like that somebody has generously taken all his episodes that he's done okay. and just put it on a 24 hour Are live they, like, stream. Public is it public domain these days or something? I don't know how it works, honestly. Well they were on like what? what, 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 what? That's like three <laughs> dudes right there. Jesus Christ. Three dude. whole dudes. A lot of dudes for this game. You saw how much effort it took to take down one guy. Yeah, true. And you know I actually come to think of it, there'll be a lot of guys with wolves on it. Three on ones though. You're, how many supernovas do they have? Oh my god! Oh this, shit! This isn't fair. Is there a self-destruct button? Do it. No, I'm not like that. Uh, oh, so, there is. Well, you can overheat yourself on purpose uh, and like kill yourself, but that's, that's, that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> yeah. You don't go through manu thermonuclear. You should. That'd be fun. You have nuclear engines, right? Oh, these are fusion fine. engines. Uh, well, that's nuclear. Nuclear fusion. Well, if the sun blow up, it do some damage. It the supernovas are pretty well named. So, it's funny you mentioned that, because uh, in the fluff, there is an author called uh, Stackpole. Yep. This Stackpole guy is pretty famous for uh, writing in his in his books uh, mechs that basically turn into giant, like, explosions when they die. Well, that, that's his 
his like signature. Yeah, it his is. His calling actually. card is the uh, explosive mech. It really is. <laughs> so when, whenever like ridiculous mech explosions happen, Ooh, um, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna die hard. Uh, they call it stack pulling. Oh, coached. Oh, I was hoping you got killed by Bayfly. Well, so okay, so I did 512 damage. I got a kill. 512 damage is pretty respectable. Yeah. It's not the highest. Like average for me is probably like three to four hundred a match. Okay. If I don't get at least three hundred, I didn't do jack shit. Fair enough. So I did something. Standards. Yeah, I do have standards. If I don't get more than three hundred, I, I get kind of mad at myself. If I'm in a Spitfire. I... But uh, yeah, so Stackpole. In in the books that he writes, he makes his max go like super duper explosion. Like it, it explodes for like hundreds of, and you know everything dies and then it's, it's you know it's super big explosion, but. Um, in reality, if you, did, if you did the science, as far as I know, a fusion engine would not do that. Really? A fusion engine would just kind of like fizzle and shut down. Well, that's much better than a fusion engine. Yeah. So... I didn't know that. Technically, they're supposed to do that, Well, they but... still have a core, and if the core goes critical, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not a fusion engineer, if that's even a word. I'm not either. You guys lost! Yeah, we did. Bearclaw's better than Chazarad, hashtag... So he did 446 damage, <laughs> and he got two kills. Okay. But he's still alive. Oh, he was in a commando. Okay, it was a commando. Commando is this tiny little fucking thing. Uh, it's 25 tons compared to my 50. I'm literally twice as heavy as him. Okay, so like a speedy type. Yeah, he's fucking speedy as shit. Okay, speedy little fuck. Um, commandos are very hard to hit. Are you experienced in the in the speedy type? Oh yeah, that's let's that... go speedy type, man. I want to see some speedy type. Speedy has a rad domination. <laughs> Speedy type is actually the type Hashtag that... Speedy type. Uh, speedy type. It's, it's the, the type that I'm the best at. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. I don't, All right. I, don't okay. like, I don't like piloting heavy in assault mechs because they're just too slow. Fair they're, enough. They're not maneuverable enough for me. Right. Yeah, I always go with So let's go with one that's particularly nasty. Look how small that is. Penis. Yeah. Where's the penis bot? Penis bot? Yeah, the penis bot, where this, it's like legs and a cock. This one? They, yeah. yeah, almost. You've got a model of it, the, the, the penis bot. Yeah, this is... That's this, very similar. Yeah, this is, this is the, the MechWare Online version of it. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's modernized. It's a bit less penisy. Yeah. It's modern. Still extremely ugly. <laughs> well, design-wise, yeah. But uh, this is the Locust. It's a teeny little thing. This is the smallest mech in the game. You're going to dominate right now? You're going to kill every player on the other team? Try. You get like 15 kills. When there's only 12, I get 15 kills. <laughs> three, yeah. three team kills. Fuck yeah. Let's go. The thing is, uh, mo most players in this game do not pilot light mechs because they find it too challenging. I'm not surprised. Because, like... You can get one shot by anything in this yeah. game if you run this. So, some people can't handle the reaction speed. Right. Because you're literally zigzagging, like, all over the fucking place. Yeah. You're too elite for those types of bitches, right? I... You're, I, you're way... You're head and shoulders <laughs> over those bitches. I, I only lose the if, number one player. <laughs> well, let me let me just let me just say I <laughs> I lose in these mechs if the enemy has very good aim or he has streak missiles. Streak missiles never miss. Never miss. That they, sounds overpowered as hell. They lock onto you and they never miss. How is that not overpowered? So the thing is with them, you don't get to aim where they hit. So they can spread all over your mech. What? So. So you don't get to aim them, so you just start the match, press fire, and then you have a guaranteed kill. No, 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 you, you have to lock on first. So you, you have, have to, to find somebody and lock on. Yeah, find somebody, get a lock on, and okay. then fire. Yeah, all right, that's all right. Fair and enough. they're also very short-ranged. Ah! And thing, things like ECM uh, messes with their lock on. The UAV jammer. Now, ECM is this thing that certain mechs can carry that jams, um, if you're close enough, it jams sensors okay, so and lock-ons and stuff like that. Sorry, lightly think. Yeah, so at least. It, it's like, let's say a man pad was locking onto our aircraft, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just for shits. And um, let's say we had a device that could completely disrupt their targeting system so they couldn't lock onto us at Okay. Like, couldn't even fire. That's basically what ECM does. Uh, yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's very, very, very short range, like 90 meter range. That's yeah. the team. Well, can't go wrong with jamming. Jamming's fun. ECM is the best. ECM used to be super overpowered when it first came out. Yeah. That's um, kind of how everything is. With it. Yeah. There's, uh, there's Gaijin. Was... Italians. Italians? 
Italian planes are ridiculously overpowered right now. <laughs> All right, I'll take your word for it. I don't really think Italians when I think overpowered planes. No, they had very bad planes. Well, the same with the Russians, like worst planes. Yeah, well, Let's see. Oh, Bear Claw's on his team again? Wow. Uh, oh, he's on your team or the other team? Other team. Ooh, I see a rivalry forming. You I, and Bear Claw are going to be like... He probably doesn't even know I exist. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Well, that. well, one day he'll come around and he'll know of the greatest player in I, Big Stompy Robot's history. I do not accept that title. The slightest. I think the Russians have me pretty beat there. Yeah, but that's only because Russian planes are on. That, well, I mean, I told you the story about my Russian body devil. Yeah, you did. That's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill you? He didn't tell me he was trying to kill you. Yeah, so he... he one day I was watching a live stream for um, uh, for this game. Okay. And it was a Russian guy. <laughs> yeah, you told me about... Yeah, and he looks exactly like He looks like exactly me. the same as you, yeah. Yeah, had the same haircut, yeah. same fucking, like, everything. <laughs> and he's playing the same game. Same adorable little bowl cut. <laughs> Actually, he did at the time. He uh, did at the time, yeah. I, I, had a, I had a really shitty haircut at the time. Um, so yeah, and so I'm convinced that like, this guy is like my buddy, body devil, like that Russia made, yeah. trying to kill me to replace me, you know? <laughs> okay. So the Russians make body doubles of Americans to kill them, take their places. Well, yeah, because I'm... Like I'm... Synths in Fallout 4. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But it's easier because I'm racially ambiguous, so it's very easy to replace Are you me. racially ambiguous? I'm... I'm... Pretty, pretty Asian. I've been told that before I've been racially ambiguous. I mean, I, okay, I mean come on. I've been confused I, actually, for... Actually, yeah, because when we're in... At the Fuzzy School House, people thought you were a Persian. And, and, and people With also... dark hair, I guess. People mistake me for being Mexican, too. Mexican? Yeah, I've been I've been called Mexican. Don't see that one, but all right. It's just the black hair. Fair enough. Also, it was from a Yank from up north, so they don't, they don't know anything. A Yank from up north? Yeah, Yankee. Well, for me, a Yank is from everywhere around here. By around here, I mean this giant fucking gigantic country. That's Bear Claw, by the way. Oh, that's Bear Claw! Ooh! Grudge match! Oh, fuck, Who will win? Also, you realize I've been a few drinks in, okay? <laughs> so I may not be I may not be the best right now. No. Number one premium player. If you wanna get good, you gotta watch Shazarad. Get 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 good, son. Is it Shazarad or it? Yeah, it's Shazarad. Okay. Or just Shaz for short. So what what I like Separate to do to me, friend. What I like to do with this mech is find isolated targets. Usually the bigger the better. Yeah. So if I find ah, you're a bomber interceptor. Uh, yeah, basically. You want to put it in War, War Thunder terms? I do. Get at me. Um, so I like to find the big, heavy assault mechs isolated alone and basically just fucking destroy them one on one. I see. I'm so small; they have trouble hitting me. Right. The, the like the is the rotation speed? Does that depend on what you make you're in? Yes, it does. Ah. So they can't turn as fast. They can't accelerate as fast. They can't even aim. Low enough to hit me if they have torso. Oh, so weapons. you could like just nozzle right up to their groin, like, and just shoot them in the cock until they're dead. Yeah, there there are certain assault mechs that cannot even aim uh, low enough to hit me. Yeah, so they're like the long range guys. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, she has bear claws. <laughs> ah, ba a garage match. I can't. Yes, you can. I like this weird sort of pirouette, like OCD. You can't turn left thing you do right. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love this. Dog fight. <laughs> also, we're in European service, so this, this is awful. No, no, I'm, no. No excuses. Best player in the world. No, 2017. I'm, not, I'm not hitting him. Look yes, at this. you are. If you look at his damage. I'm not hitting him. Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm not. It's, it's so hard to tell. There's no, like, impact when it comes to lasers. Yeah, I'm not getting any damage. There's no all. real, like, hit marker type of thing. They're going to shoot my legs off. I'm going to get real slow here in a second. Yeah, there goes my leg. I'm done for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coast. Yeah, bear claw. Oh! <laughs> Destroyed my bear claw. Ooh, right in the pride. He shot you right in the pride. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even bothered. Oh, uh, ooh. No, no. Now you gotta get your own back, man. Now you're the underdog. Now you gotta hunt him down. I'm, I'm not bothered. Yeah. Could you use some help with the Orion, please? Oh man, help yourself. It, are we on voice? Did he hear you say that? Or? No, he didn't hear me say that. No, I'm not. I'm not going to broadcast. Fair enough. Because um. Ooh. Put it in your calendars, kids. First July 2017, the Bear Claw Shazarad Ultimate Rivalry began.
Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> uh, this guy is What's terrible. That? Is this what is this? Is this overheat? Yeah, this is overheat. Yeah, so if your mix gets How's that for if your mic gets too hot, uh, you overheat and you shut down for a while. Why did he just fire into the air at no one? No, he's locked onto that target, see? Oh, okay. So that target is seven hundred meters like away. Type of yeah, these are long range missiles he's firing. So they arc over stuff. Uh, they're just not very precise. Oh, so it's like a carpet. Yeah, basically. Also, they cannot be used at short range. I see. I think though, instead of watching this, I'm gonna climb into another mech and just keep. Yeah, going. man. So give the people what they want. So can you do one on one? Because you and Bearclaw need to set up a, a final epic battle <laughs> like Rocky. You can you can do one on one, yeah, but I. <laughs> really. I don't care. I'm kidding. I'm just a teaser. You better be kidding. I'm Fuck. teasing your friend. That being said, I killed you then. I'll eat you up. He was using a very meta mech, which I've used to great effect before myself. I also have I have the same mech that he uses. Um, it's the it's the commando with the two missile launchers and the torso. Mm -hmm. I've used that before to great effect. So it's not surprising that he got me. Not. Um, Fair enough. Let's go with this one. I like this one. Arctic Cheetah. Ah, yeah. No, actually, wait. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one. So, take, take the biggest gun in the game. Oh Christ, that's hideous. This is an adder. You take the biggest gun in the game. Uh, and that is a pups. Huh? What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. C carry on. Okay. Uh, and you stick it on the lightest, uh, like one of the lightest mechs in the game, yeah. and you have one heck of a. Ah, what? you have a. Uh... I can... Just saying. Let's go with this one. This one is so much fun to play. I, I love it so much. Um, just because no, nobody expects you to have a light mech with an Ultra 20 on it. They're like, oh, it's a light mech. He doesn't have any weapons, right? And get up to him and just boom, 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 boom. Okay. And they, they're, they're super surprised. So, um, are most of the mechs really ugly? Um, that's more of a personal taste, I guess. But that is bloody ugly. Like the, um, it looks like the the Hunchback from 300. In 300? Yeah, of course. What do you mean, of course? You don't watch movies. I do watch movies. Some you do them. not watch movies. Here, have a taste. There's so many, yeah, all right. What is this again? That is Gin and Vermouth and Bitters. Does it have a name? Uh, I think it does. I don't remember, though. Did you invent this? No. Oh. I looked it up. Because I don't really do gin. I just looked up gin cocktails and see what came up, and that was one of them. That's really nice. Pretty smooth. Good. Really good. Oh, why do you like it? It's good beer at all. Black Butte Porter. Black Recommended butt. by me. But. For sure. Butte Butte. No, it's it's B U B U T T E. You don't pronounce the E. But. Black, so Black Butt then. Yeah. Right. Black Butt. Right. Big Butt. Enough. Ghetto Booty Butt. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we'll be going on HPG Manifold again. Is it? Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, leaving the map to the vote. Some people don't like it. I don't really care. Most maps are good. Well, good. But still, I'm I'm not entirely sure. I mean, there are some games that could... Uh, well, War Thunder... I'm sorry to keep going around to War Thunder, but War Thunder is a system where, depending on what planes people are playing, it'll pick the map because it's trying to be historical. Some of them are like alternate history. Oh, okay. But because tons of people are grinding the Italians because they just came out, um, Norway is just overwhelmingly the most popular. Like huh. everybody, every time is on Norway, and then Sicily is a close second. I'm just sick of playing Norway. All right, you can't really do that with this game because all the historical fights are like. Well, historical is a different <laughs> case in this kind of. You can decide what history is. It, you can't really do that when it's based on World War II. Well, I mean, there, there's established fluff for certain historical battles that took place. Right. But it's, it's kind of hard to do in this game because it has to be set up a certain way. And like, yeah. We, we keep, okay, we keep going to fucking European servers. I need, to, I need to disable that because my ping is through the fucking roof. Well, bear in mind, I mean. Yeah, it is, it is like, what, fucking eight or nine in, in Europe right now? Yeah, it's quite airy. Seven in the morning. Yeah. It's right around all the European Europeans are getting up, so. Yeah, and it's Sundays. They don't have Fourth of July. This is true. The commies? How dare they not celebrate the birth of my country? 
Don't they know America is the only greatest country in the world? Jesus. Savages, a lot of them, I tell you. Making flights. Yeah, you bet. Okay, Texas is still better. Then what? I don't know. What you do? Come on, say. <laughs> yeah. We all know what you're implying. <laughs> Just saying, it's the greatest country in the country. You know how it goes. Baby. Okay. Being diplomatic about it. We all know what you mean. Go show, okay. Coming in at D4, coming in behind us. Marauder, turn around. Ah, you have a target in time. He sounds American to me. No, don't stop back there, guys. You gotta get to the team. Bravo Lance never stops. Never stop for shit! I did broadcast that. Yeah, you did. So what? It's a shadow cat. Just kill him. Target spotted. Need assistance. God, I hate people that open mics like that. Target spotted. We got a hunchback here. Need assistance. Is, he might be. Woo, buddy. Open him up pretty good. So there's a mech called a hunchback, and this thing is brutal close range. Is that the one you're in? Yeah, that's the one I'm fighting. This one. My aim is. Okay, my aim is fucking off, alright? Because I've had too much to drink. It looks pretty precise to me. I've had a couple drinks too. But... No, I'm way more precise, like when I'm actually not drunk. I think you're drunk? A bit. Oh, he's our end. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, he's getting damned. I'm not convinced about the um, the system that, like most multiplayer games, take where whoever takes the last shot gets the kill. Target I think it should spotted. just be whoever did the most damage or gets the most crit should get the kill. Well, in this game, actually, you do get credit for um, kill most damage. Yeah, I mean, you get credit for it in uh, Warzone 2, but I just don't think it should be whoever gets the last shot gets the kill. Because then you get people like chasing bombers all the way to the floor and they've lost all their altitude. Target spotted. Target they end up crashing spotted. or something? Well, not necessarily unless you're in a plane that can't pull up. But, I mean, if you've lost all your altitude, then you can't really fight anything else that's going to come to meet you. And if you're shooting down bombers, it's probably the first thing that you bumped into, so. And I mean, look, you'll get like four or five guys all chasing this one bomber. Because we're going to have to move back towards Echo 4 after this. We're going to lose our assault. What was he yeah. saying? Hey, Shazerad gets a kill. Number Target one play. I was a light mag, so. You still got killed, boyo. Well, I'm in a light mag too, so. Like we should go up top. We'll not cover the whole map. Can you there. can you mute these types? Uh, yeah, I can. What was? That? Remember? Oh, you have to pick specifics. Yeah, no. I I don't remember. So there's no like mute, uh, voice chat. You can disable you can disable VoIP entirely. I don't though. Target spotted. I don't, I don't want to be that big of a deal. Use it more than the, the uh, typey chat. You spend so much time climbing. You worry about it. And you get the Russians. Well, just like, you know, CSGO. Who will help behind us for me for. Oh, it's uh, Death's Heart. That's where I learned my first Russian. Evan Jag movie. up top. Hey. Yeah, we gotta do some work up top. I don't mind him so much. I just. I just when it really gets bad, though, is the types of, like... Yeah, that's better. Oh, cool. Um, it's heat vision. I don't like the types that complain. Like, whenever they get killed, they're like, they like Oh, my fucking team sucks, Yeah, man, yeah, man. yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Like, oh, this team. It's like, oh, fuck off, dude. Yeah. You screwed up, so it's everyone else's fault. I know exactly what you mean. Hello, I love how this gun sounds. It's like, boom, 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 boom. So what do you think is like the most satisfying weapon in all the games? Target spotted. Uh, it's probably a shotgun. I'd say a shotgun. I don't mean in general, I mean specifically. Lima, Lima. Like what game? Oh, I... See, because I've been asked this question, I mean it's come up before. Maybe. Have you ever played uh, any Lima. of the old uh, James... Ooh, two kills, best play. So have you ever... <laughs> You ever played the old James Bond multiplayers? Yeah, I have. You like played, uh, uh, for 64, right? Yeah, the, the GoldenEye, and did you ever play Nightfire? I think Nightfire's better, it just wasn't first, so... I played whatever one was, like, the first one on the 64. That would have been, I think, GoldenEye. That was the one that, like, started everything. But the SG-5 on Nightfire, like, if the game had nothing else, just, like, a blank map and you could fire the SG-5, it's glorious. It feels like firing a tank shell, but, like, from the... From the, uh, from the hip. Supernova. I love GG. that thing. I miss PS2 games, man. Oh, three kills. Elite, legendary. 
I'm almost out of on ammo. On fire. I'm almost out of ammo. Hey, yeah, enough keto. We are up though. We're up three kills, which is good. See, the... Oh, up three kills, are we? Yeah. The exact amount of kills you happen to have. Carry in the team. I can't believe you killed me from that close. I wouldn't go that far. Carry in the team. See, this mech works really well against heavier mechs that can't move. Yeah. Because the projectile speed for this gun is crap. If they can't move, it's much easier to hit them. I don't work well against light mechs. Hotel, 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 hotel. That's it. Yeah. No, I've been about the PS2 games. That's been a frustration I've had with like I've got into PC gaming relatively. Uh, oh, four kills, super elite. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Don't you stop shooting me. Are you gonna die? Woo also. No. Oh, coach. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I, I got three kills. Us. Yeah, yeah, man. 387 damage is kind of low. Push, 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 push. But, well, I mean, four kills. Ignore that. Yeah, that's 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 good for this mech. Also. Yeah, that's been a frustration I've had with PC gaming. Is oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get it, man. I can get the cheat up. I can get the cheat up. Like, if you want to play PS2 games, you really sort of have to just play it for PS2. Yeah, I have a PS2, but it's sort of frustrating. I'd like to play Nightfire Online, but it just doesn't really work that way, I guess. It's uh, complicated. And then they don't even sell any Gemini yeah, games on Steam. They're going the Timberwolf. Or the Tallbringer around. Frustrating. Yeah, they're going for the Tony games are on Steam. What the hell, Activision? Oh, Activision is. Bill. Yeah, I know, but like, come on with the Tony Hawk games. Tony Hawk's Five was wank. Just put all the first four on there shoot. with all the original soundtracks. Did yeah, I cheat? Did I cheat? Did I cheat? I think we're gonna lose this one. Fossils. You ever played Tony Hawk's games? Uh, I haven't. Oh, that's wrong. I have no idea how to get these guys. He's really into the whole like. He does overheat the office. Um. Yeah, yeah. I was never really into the whole, like, skater kind of thing. But... Well, neither was I, but, um... The music is great on those games, and, I mean, they're just really, really fun. Like, the local multiplayer is tons of fun. I'd love to play it online, but Activision won't put them on Steam! Yeah. See, now that I've said that on the podcast, they're gonna do it. That's how uh, this works. Totally, totally. Yeah, that's how this yeah, works. Absolutely. I suppose this isn't really a podcast, this is just an episode. Chaz plays Mech Warrior. Let's play Mech Warrior, oh yeah. Yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> fuck him up, he's standing still. Get that side torso. Get that side torso, son. Get that side torso. I'm telling you what. Are you broadcasting that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I like see, that zoom in cam. See, the thing is, this guy this guy we're looking at right now is down a leg. So he can't move very fast. Oh, so he's slow. Yeah. Come on, get that side torso, dude. So he's like, if he went into third person, he's like hopping, right? Uh, he's kind of like more like dragging his leg. Oh, okay. It's not completely shot off. It's still there. It's just dragging. Zombie. Yeah, basically. All he needs to do is get a really good hit on the side torso of this guy, and he wins. The side torso is like the weakest thing. Um, not necessarily. It depends on the mech. The only thing is, he he's got no range on this guy. Um, his lasers only go out to like 167. So he needs to get out. he needs to get really close, but it's hard to do because the guy he's fighting runs much faster than he does. Ah, so he can't get within range. Yeah. Yeah, there hey. we go. Hey, nice fucking job, man. I like his uh, piece of eight there. His little doubloon. Oh yeah, you get little cockpit items and stuff. Like, oh man, I gotta show you some. Yeah, of these. you have the uh, Christmas lights. Yeah, I do the tactical Christmas lights. Yeah, those are the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this is this is a pretty okay match. Yeah, um, man, four kills. You can never argue with four. Well, I. Never got a lot, I suppose. Top to of the team! Top of the team! Top of the world! Top. Best player! Top you team. got top of the team! No, no, no. It's it's organized by weight. Oh. So, like, look, this guy got 718 damage. Oh, okay. So he did a lot more than I did. How many kills did he get? He got two. Uh, two less. What's his name? Jehunian shit! Hashtag. <laughs> His words, not mine. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't know my name. I don't have a YouTube channel. This, so is, there we are. this is true. This is true. Yeah, probably not shit. Oh, I'm sure he's just fine. I mean, to get 718 damage and two kills on a, in, in uh, the mech he was running in, that, that, that's pretty respectable. Pretty respectable. Desiree said it. Pretty it's, respectable. 700 damage is good in any mech. Yeah, that, that's this one's one of my favorites of all time. Really? The, this one? Yeah, it's just... The uh, ugly one? I think it's ugly. ugly. It's cool. 
You want to see ugly? Look at this one. Hang on, hang on. Oh, God, the uh, hazard stripes, man. The thing from my lead one. <laughs> oh, okay. Speaking of which, have you seen Covenant yet? Mm -mm. Really good. It's I heard it was getting, awful. It's not getting great reviews, but I think it's really good. I think it's the third best Alien movie. I know all of them makes it the first two were shit, but still. I thought it was really good. I mean, I, I kind of like... Prometheus was alright, but I think uh, Exodus... Exodus? Covenant. But uh, Covenant was really good. It was. It made Alien scary again. It's been a long time since Alien's been scary. That's True. ugly too. What? This is called a gargoyle slash man of war. Very ugly. Uh, also one of my favorites because it's it's super fucking big, but it's fast as shit. Okay. And it also carries the same guns that my lighter one did. All right. With a lot more lasers. Also, the, this this mech in tabletop is renowned for being absolute crap. Oh really? Because they devoted so much of the of the mech's weight and ability to its engine that it has like really shit crap. But I've changed. That. So let's go with this one. I really want to play Tunnels. <laughs> but Activision won't let me. I do actually have it on PS. You know, it's funny. Activision was um was actually involved in the MechWarrior 2 series. Really? Yeah, they published it. That was back when they were alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the, in the mid-90s. Yeah. Ah. Old fat. Yep. Yeah, I mean... Say what? what the hell? Uh... Yeah. So in in this dive into more of the history of this game. Well, fluff maybe. So when it all started, everyone's on Earth, right? There's a lot of uh inter international wars and things. Eventually everyone got together and said, you know what, war really isn't that productive, so Can't argue with that. <laughs> we'll just get together and make basically a, a hegemony kind of uh Big, I don't know, world government, right? Okay. They got together, made some, uh, made some ships that could travel faster than light. And it wasn't necessarily travel faster than light. It was, let's tear a hole in space and jump through it. Wormhole. Yeah. Warp Basically, speeds. wormhole generators that could jump about 30 light years in one go. So they got on board these ships and started expanding out to the Milky Way as we know it. Um, and the interesting thing is with this universe, even though we, we, humanity has, is actually in space, yeah. there is no aliens. So just, we're like alone, so it's like red dwarf. It's just humans. Well, aside from like native, like animal life, but it's not sentient. Really. Okay. Not like sentient on like our level. Right. Okay. So, you seen Red Dwarf? No. It's kind of like the, the, it's a comedy show, the British comedy show. The premise is like we set off into the universe to try and find alien life, and there's none. <laughs> like we're it. We're, we're <laughs> as far as intelligent life goes. How depressing. Yeah, exactly. Like it's so depressing kind of humor. But uh, it's really good. I've only seen the first season now. I've heard a lot of it. Really it's, it's a clever idea. I like it. Sounds like a British thing. It is very British. <laughs> so yeah, uh, eventually the hegemony, hegemony expands outwards so much to the point where they um, get uh, noble houses that form and it turns into a very feudal kind of um, hereditary rulership thing. Yeah. Where you have like Whatever you want to call it, you basically have kings and rulers of these nations, um, and they form something called Star League, which everyone gets together and so says, "These nations, these." Yeah, the I fact, should. This is radio. Uh, yeah. The the plaques. The plaques I have. Yeah, no, I, I have the. So the I the, did a Kyle Perkington. The ones on the right here that I have on my wall, you guys can't see, uh, is all the major houses. You have five major houses. You got House Davian, which is the sword and the sunburst. Space and Yeah. Space America, As basically. You, you have House Steiner, which is the mailed fist. Germany? Yes. Uh, space Germany. And then you have House Karita, which is the dragon. Uh, that's, that's Space what? Japan. House Merrick, which is kind of hard to define. They're like everyone. The Han, like... They're, 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 they're like a hodgepodge of like all the, all the other kind of ethnicities. Um... They can't even agree on what ethnicity they are. 
Because right. they're, they're so democratic that they can't even agree to get, to get along together. All right. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, uh, and then finally you have House Liao, which is Space China. Communist fuckers so like... The, the China one is the one with the samurai sword. Uh, well, no, not necessarily, because China actually, uh, ancient China actually did have swords similar to that. Right. I mean, you don't associate it. No, no one does. Yeah. So, yes, you, you could easily mistake it for they that. They really don't know the difference, do they? <laughs> Maybe they didn't try, I don't know. It's the 80s, man. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, hey, check it out. Neil deGrasse Tyson's on the other side. What? <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Neil Tyson. Neil Tyson. He's on the other side. Right next to Mr. Giggity. Well, that guy knows astrophysics, so he's going he's gonna to wipe the floor on this one. Man, I tell you. They, They're in space, right? They, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it but do. It do. <laughs> Science, man. <laughs> he's a personal hero of mine. I, I just love that, that little clip from, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, Mike Tyson Mysteries. Oh yeah, right. he's, he's there. He's in the crowd. He's in the match with him, and he, he does, does a little Vulcan fuck. symbol. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, he's like Neil, and does a little thing, and he's like, yeah. "What the fuck does that mean?" And then he gets, a yeah. poof, just get punched in the face. Like, I mean, regardless of your opinions on uh, Mike Tyson, that show is genius. It is. I it's, love it's, Mike Tyson mystery. It's, it's pretty hilarious. Good. The, the 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 guy who voices the pigeon is just excellent. Yeah, that's uh, Norm Macdonald. He's a comedian. Oh, he makes did sense. a sports show for a while on uh, Comedy Central. It was funny. What? Uh, override. So, uh, you can override your mech shutdown, automatic shutdown, if you overheat. Yeah. But when you do that, your mech starts cooking from the inside. And That's you can, bad, right? Yes, very bad. And you can set your ammo off. That's extremely bad. Yeah. If I've learned anything from tanks. And, yeah, so, um, you know how you, you can get ammo racked, right? Yeah. That can happen in this game, too. Ammo racked meaning, like, if somebody blows up your ammo, it blows up everything else. Yes. Okay. Uh, very, very famous in tabletop, famous here as well. Right. If you don't have uh, the right ammunition storage installed on your mech, and your enemy shoots that ammo, uh, it will explode and you will die. Right. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. That's exactly how it happens. But yeah, you're real. Yep. I, I am painted appropriate colors for this. If it wins it. <laughs> I like to refer to this map as Hoth. Yeah, it's basically because it's it's super trenchy. Um, it's just ice everywhere. Yeah. Only problem is I'm I'm extremely short ranged, and this is a very wide open map for long range. Ah, terrible choice then. Target's yeah, I'm gonna have a really hard time getting close in this. One. Well, most what, it, what happens in most cases is that people hide hide in a trench, just kind of hide there yeah. until the enemy appears, and then they kind of just kind of. Timidly peek around corners and stuff. Ah, yeah, the World War One. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, it usually ends up poorly for one side or the other, but uh, actually not my side. Aha! Usually not Shazrad's side, right? No, I, I mean number one player. No, I mean it usually happens to me where I oh, lose. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, like my oh, my team oh. is so timid that it just ends up being like a total shit oh, show. Shazrad, worst player in the world. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a, fucking not a team player at all. Goddamn. Right now, I'm just kind of milling about because I got nothing to do. Um, I, I cannot push a flank by myself. That's a very, very bad idea. Right, and you're not coordinating with these guys right now. So. We just lost a guy, so. Great. Come on, get in there and get it. Get it. You first. I'm dead, I did. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah, he did first. Yeah. <laughs> Target spotted. To be fair, though, I think he went in a little bit premature. Put your mind up. That's what she said. Woo! Uh, uh, UAV. And tons of people now. It's, it is very hard I'm to I'm going to sneak off to their base. Do it. And win. Yeah, if you can. Hey, it's good. I, right, sir, if you don't mind, I'm going to pee in your toilet. Okay, have a, have a fun time. Just don't make a mess. Do some thinking. While he's gone, I'm going to talk shit about him. Do it! Just so the audience knows, like I, I, I am definitely a few drinks in, so this is not my, not my best performance. I can't, I, I can't perform like, uh, you know, them Viagra ads and stuff. If you know what I mean. Oh, buddy. Target golf. 
Hey, I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh, don't, don't do that. There'll be no dying. Nobody said that dying was allowed. See if I can uh, get up on this guy. Come on, I'm jammed, damn it. He's down. Alright, next. Supernova. No, he's dead. Stalker's got an open torso. Let's get up on that guy. Boy. There we go. That's on the side down. Let me cool off. This is why I love this mech so much. It's just it's so flexible. Great. Wow, that was a really bad shot. <laughs> oh man, I've had too much. Jesus Christ. It's okay. I'm glad you're back. Our team is doing pretty well. I'm gonna overheat. Fuck. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not. I heard you say that uh, this isn't your best performance, but I disagree. Well, you haven't seen my other videos, no, have one. you? I've watched a few of you. Yeah. I watched the ones with the uh, voice. I have to hunt them down. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, actually. This, this is my first time ever addressing an audience. Uh, for like people listening, the story about Joys, that's me. I'm i am that. I'm yes. Joys. He's my excessively British friend. I excessively so. Um, Painfully British. Yeah, the, the Joys thing, the story, the way the story was told was true, but it didn't quite get across the uh, stomach pain I was in from laughter. Oh fuck, the base under attack. God damn it. Ah! What does that mean? So, in this mode, uh, you have an actual base you need to protect. When the enemy gets in there and starts destroying it, it's bad juju. Ah. Do so you, you lose if it gets destroyed? Yes, you do. Ah. So even if you win the brawl like we did, you can still lose the match if you don't defend your base, which is what they're fucking doing right now. And hopefully I am fast enough to get back there in time, but I am not the quickest, so... See. Anyway, continue. Doors! No, I have nothing more to add. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Yeah, Jaws. Yeah, there's fucking classic shark. I, I just think the crazy part about it is that you assumed I was saying Jaws, which isn't a word. Like, the, the assumption was I was saying a word that doesn't exist. Well, I didn't know what you were talking about. That's I, why I, I asked. I can't remember why Jaws... I know Jaws came up in conversation because of the... Yeah, because of the shark. <laughs> yeah, because the shark was there, and I mentioned yeah. it. it. It came up for some reason, but... Yeah, you assumed I was saying Jaws. And it's just... It was hysterical. Because I, I would never have assumed that. It completely... Five my expectations, which is what humor is, isn't it? So, um, but like now, every time I say Jaws, it sounds like like Jaws, oh, like J O R S, and I can't help it now. <laughs> it feels like I'm saying Jaws with an R. Jaws. It's exactly the same to me. With our inferior accent. Target spotted. I wonder if other Brits feel the same. It's kind of like the whole ER thing that you guys do sometimes that like, I, I still can't get over. Yeah, well, we have this soft non rotor car, and you guys have the very hard rotor car, which is weird considering. Like, come, uh. Come here, you little. Come here, you. Come here, you. I want your fucking cookies. Give it to me. You guys have the, uh, the long sort of received A. Like the, uh... Where are you going? You, you're gonna go <laughs> over that? Are you kidding me? That's, that's kind of smart. You gotta give credit. Come back here. I want my cookies. I'm gonna get them. Oh, you're gonna come back for more. All right. Well, fucking. I can't fire the lasers too often because if I do, it, it, it I overheat. But my lasers are the best uh, way of attacking this guy. He's so that? fast. Oh, so it's just more accurate. Yeah, my bullets can't really. They have a hard time tracking them. I mean, a laser when moving at speed of light, you don't have any. You don't. Yeah, you don't need to lead them. This thing, the bullets you do. Are you kidding He's, me? I like this guy. He's clever. Hey, I can't have to blow the hole in these damn walls. I don't want to. Why not? Because it's it's my base. Ah. Uh, okay, well, we got him anyways. So let's one match we win finally. Um, yeah. So Gargoyle is fucking awesome. I don't like it. Anyway, yeah. So there we go. Six hundred and fourteen damage, two kills. It's not bad. Double what I consider acceptable. 
good. And there are some people out there, like, uh, I've seen, I'm, I'm part of the, uh, uh, Battletech International Facebook group, which were, which, like, all the people on Facebook get together. Yeah. And, uh, talk. And there, there are some people there on that group that, like, getting, getting 300 damage is, is, is right. yeah. So, That's the, um, Black Widow people? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really with them anymore. Yeah, I'm still on there on on this game with on, on this game officially with them, but I don't really do. They anymore. betray your trust. Hmm. It's a long story. I'm not gonna get into it. Sorry. I'm still technically in the in game. What's it? Whatever happened with um? I think it was the Ed and Andro uh, prompt thing. Yeah. Is so... that was that for real or were they joking? No, that's for real. Oh, Man. that's so childish. They uh, have they have not gotten back into contact. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I mean, I think it's probably even worse in Britain. People can't be friends. I, I get the idea, like, you don't want to associate with people you think are bad, but it's just so funny. That is... It's a damn shame. That's a little disappointing. I, I thought they were better than that. Well, a, I mean, I think it's a cultural thing. Considering, too, I've been supporting them for, like, two and a half years. Yeah. And they just cut me off like that. Yeah, that's a yeah. shame. Like, I really don't think it matters. What, do you guys not like money or something? Well... I mean, if they're making like what they think is a moral decision over money, they make that. But still, I think it's funny that you can't do both. You can't be friends with somebody you disagree with. I disagree with doing that and everything, but still. Yeah. That's true. But still, here we are. I'm going to take this one out again. It's so much fun. I don't even know how long we've been going. I, I probably. It's been a while. I mean, I mass, frankly. Well, uh, I have to worry about this space at some point. Check real quick. Didn't do it. Let's see. Still on the record? Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm just checking the hard drive. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. Okay. Because I remember, yeah, I remember. Wait, I, this I, is, I'm enjoying this. Are you? Yeah, it's good. All right. You want a little bit? Uh, I'm still working on my. All right. I'm grabbing a little bit. If that's all right with you. Yeah, go for it. That's, that's why I got it. Put, put the bottle on the back counter over there. It, it'll still pick you up from over there too if you if you if you talk loud enough. Yeah, it's it's a good microphone. I think I paid like 150 for it. Well, I mean, you you play drums, you know you know how much, like it, you pay for what you get. You, you know with drums, like you, you pay for what you get. Oh, okay, so like volume music. Yeah. Yeah, easily. Easily. So, I haven't recorded much of my life. Is it so expensive? Drums, you need one per drum. Really? It was not cheap. No. Wow. That sounds like a nightmare to set up. Well, I mean, you can do the, you can do the <laughs> tune and it's going to be. Yeah. Drum kit. yeah, that's crazy. Are you, are you just not like what like um I know when I, when I had to tune my instruments when I played we had we had to make we had to use like one of those automatic tuner things that told you if your note was like sharp yeah, or flat I just bought well, bass last week yeah I've played bass before but it's a thing I want to do cuz I like Primus wasn't Henley knows how to play guitar right Henley knows how to play guitar and he absolutely shreds on bass <laughs> he's a kick ass bassist he shreds that wheat, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, but th what did you play? You played like oboe or something, right? I played oboe and bassoon. Bassoon? Yeah. yeah. How the hell do you tune that? Very carefully. Yeah, I'm gonna say. But it, do you tune like saxophones or? It, it it depends more on like your mouth position, you how you blow, um, and stuff like that. Oh, so the tuning is you. The tuning is yes. The, the okay. tuning is not really the instrument. Also, well, it depends also like how how much uh, you have the valves open. Right. Um, how much pressure you have? Yeah, that absolutely can make a difference. So it, it's it's very very fine kind of like okay. control over it. I love the bassoon. I'm a big fan of the bassoon. I think the bassoon is the most underrated of all instruments. It <laughs> sounds so cool, and it's not used on anything. I mean, it's probably because it's so hard to play. It's very hard to play. Believe me. Um, oboe, I'm not entirely familiar with. The oboe is like a clarinet, right? Uh, it's like it's a more specialized clarinet. Okay. I'm a big fan of the bass clarinet too, but... Yeah. 
No, I just want to learn how to slap and pop, yo. <laughs> With the kids in that. <laughs> yeah. The, the thing is, like, I, I picked up the bassoon only because uh, the band I was playing in at the time... Uh, you played in a band? Well, it was it was like a school thing. Oh, so. like school band. Yeah. Oh, well, what the fuck? That was a ghost rifle. Where the fuck did that... Where the fuck did that ghost rifle come from? Jesus. Sorry, I uh, crash. <laughs> um, I hate getting hit this early in the game. Did I miss much? It, it annoys me on a level was I that, can't... Was that a friendly? No, it was an enemy ghost oh, rifle. Oh, so he's good then. Yeah, he's... Where from um yeah the, the band i was in they, they they literally could not get anyone else to play the bassoon because they all said it was too hard like really? they refused to pick it hey. up so okay so 2017 that's right best make warrior player in the world best bassoon player in the world i'll be your baseline baby Target spotted. or something like that i don't know yep. whenever i think baby i always think of uh there's an, an, an anime animu right Called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, if we're talking animes and Japanese, I'm gonna go to bed. All right, cool. No, um, there there was a guy called Caesar, or not Caesar? Not that fucking Caesar! God damn it! No, it was the other Italian dude, his dad. Anyway, the way he said "baby" was pretty hilarious when he said it in the anime because it was it was entirely Japanese dub, but he did say "baby" in English, and it was absolutely hilarious. That's that's. That's kind of how I think of whenever I say baby, I always think of, uh... Depelli! That was his name. Depelli. I, um... I mean, it's... Don't say it very often, but when I do, I take my inspiration from Donkey. Baby! Whenever you say Donkey, I always imagine Shrek saying Donkey. <laughs> donkey? No, well, he is a, his thing is a Donkey. Well, he's Scottish, though. No, no, I mean, I mean video game Donkey. Oh. Yeah, he's funny. Like, uh, the... So this is a fucking pissing match right here. I'm just kind of peeking and going back and forth, and it's really shit. My thing is, I I can't push this because I'm not powerful enough. Okay. Uh, but if I had this guy next to me do that, I could. But I don't I don't trust myself to do that. Bravo. Oh my god, my aim. Jesus. See, lasers are very. Lasers are very Julia, important to keep on target, because yeah. they have a burn time. Okay. If you don't keep a laser on target the entire time of the burn, you don't do as much damage. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is like a bonus if you keep it on there the entire time. Not necessarily a bonus, it's just, it, a laser does damage over time. So you need to keep it on target to get the most out of it. If you don't, it's just, it's not very good. That sucks. Probably not fast enough. Target spotted. Uh, Charlie Darewolf. Yeah, in this mode, we're trying to destroy a VIP mech. It's a computer controlled mech that we're trying to destroy. Um, very, very slow, but it has a shit ton of armor. Which means a single person would take a, like a couple minutes to kill. Which is, that, that's a long time. So I'm hoping um, I can get a juicy flank here and sneak up on this. Uh, Direwolf. Direwolves are one of the heaviest mechs in the game. Weighs in a, a whopping one of the Good night, everyone. And he is the most, like... Wolves are fucking... Disgusting. Good night, crazy. God damn it, you fucking jam on the first shot? Fuck you! I will destroy you. Oh, he killed himself. Uh, <laughs> how did he do that? He overheated. Uh, he cooked himself. Uh, <laughs> this what was his name? Joseph Ward? I, I, Worst player in Mech Warrior. Chazarad said it. Oh, heat vision is awful on this map. Jesus. Screw that. Because we're in the middle of a desert right now. Oh. So everything's hot, and it takes that into account. Ooh. Now you're uh, dead. Nope, oh, overheated. I'm good now. So if you shut down while you're overheating, you don't necessarily cook as much. So this is a world where we can figure out fusion energy, we can figure out fusion engines, but we can't figure out heat sinks. Yeah, uh, it, it, funny you mentioned that, actually. Uh, th these mechs all have heat sinks, um, which I guess is the most efficient method to cool a mech down. Um, I, I, I can't imagine why they can't think of anything better. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Shit, I'm getting, I'm getting heat sinks. So 
So I'm underneath this radar tower right now that's spotting me. If I can neutralize it, uh, they can't see me anymore. Here we go. Nice. Good idea. Alright, we're good to go. Hey guys, no more weapons. On the um, where is the VIP? So, it's 8 to 9 right now. It's not looking good. I don't know where the VIP is. He's probably already escaping by now, but, uh, yeah. Oh! oh! That was easy. Nice okay. Place, it? Now it's 10 to 10. Oh, here we go. Good, this guy's missing half his max. So. I'm not worried about him. Come on, unjam, damn it! My gun's jammed right now, I can't shoot. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Like, uh, when you lose your pilot's consciousness. Get out of my way! I gotta cool down, I can't shoot right now. But did you see that? The fucking mi yeah, you completely missed. It. There we go, he's dead now. Oh, Good, Jesus. These guys no weapons? So he's just a, he's a ramming rod away. Yeah, he's, he's just rubbing against me. <laughs> Very fiercely, I might add. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck off and go find the VIP because uh, he's he's probably a good way of the way out already. You're playing objectives. Oh shit! There's a good player. That's the dropship he's gonna take off in. So he's probably already over there. Oh no! Am I fast enough? I don't know. Where is this guy? Oh, that's one dead there. Also, wireless is not the best play to play. Uh, best way to play this. No, not at all. Wireless isn't the best way to play. Yeah. That's why I always like to go with wired controllers on consoles. I've uh, taken a plug-in in my computer into it. Ah, fuck! Did you done lose? Yeah, he he made it to the dropship. Damn it! Well, that's GG. Yeah, I we're focused too much on the brawl. I mean, I did pretty good. GG, like GG Allen, covered in shit. What the hell does that mean? Uh, Allen was a uh, punk rock yeah, songwriter guy. Just known for being as lewd and disgusting as a human really could be. He was an inspiring character. Excellent. Also, you're bumping the table a lot. Sorry. It will pick up on that. Sorry for all the people. <laughs> Rip, of you. rip headphone users. Yep. Let's talk. Sh let's talk shit about Hunt. <laughs> Nobody knows who he, who he is on this platform. Not nice. Although the original plan was supposed to be the four of us. Yeah, that's true. Me, you, who, uh, Alexander. Alexander. One yeah. day, friends. One day, we'll make this a thing. The the horseman. Hunt, Hunt is basically like this Pink Pink Floyd loving fucking. Uh, American as shit, dude. And he's an exceptionalist. He, yeah, he's he's quite an exceptional person. <laughs> you want to put it that way? Yeah, no, I said he's an exceptionalist, meaning an American exceptionalist. But oh yeah, yeah he's a good guy. He's he's he okay. I'm gonna say he's one of the. Oh, well, wow, we're talking shit about a real person on a public forum. Yeah, fuck yeah, we are. All right, go for All it. Right. Uh, the, I'm not talking shit because well, okay, I was talking shit, but I'm not gonna talk shit right now for the Senate. So, okay, here we go. Go. So he's one of the only people besides me that actually likes meatloaf. Tons of people like meatloaf. Millions of people love meatloaf. Yes, millions of people love meatloaf. Not in our generation. Not in my life. Yeah, not in, not our in my life. No, my mom adores meatloaf. Yeah, because your mom knows good music. She also likes Def Leppard. Def Leppard. Yeah. Is that is that an eighties band? Yeah. Well, fuck yeah, it's good. <laughs> if you don't know who they are, you don't get to say that. But... No, no, no. I I want to say I know who Def Leppard is, but um... that that is amazing. Wait, did they make um? What was that song called? Like, uh, enjoy the silence. Did they make that one? I'm gonna say no. Fuck. Okay, it's... if I heard them, I probably would know them. That's what I'm yeah, saying. probably. They're a pretty huge band. Um. Yes, because Sean also likes them. Actually. I'm not surprised. What about the Scorpions? You know the Scorpions? Scorpions are way better. I actually like the Scorpions. I have heard of them. They have they have one really famous song. What the they fuck? They have a few really famous songs. The fuck was it? Was it like something weather related? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. What was it called? Um, was it like tornado or hurricane or? Oh, you're thinking of. Um, uh, 
I don't know. It's pop- like raunching like a hurricane or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, okay, so that's what that's what what I was. Yeah, thinking they're, of. they're, yeah, they're yeah. good. I quite like this Rock, Rihanna loves this company. Rocky like a hurricane or something like that? Yeah. Fuck, I don't remember. You just said a real man's real name on the floor? I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's just... Also, he's bad fucking ass anyways. Yeah, he is a bad ass guy. If they're going to... never screw with him. They're going to come and like invade his house. He's going to be like, home invader? Fuck yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah, he seriously would. <laughs> yeah. He would, he would like relish that opportunity. Oh, I would too. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to him moving in. Me too. It's going to be good. He's going to be indestructible, man. Never going to get broken into. Anyway, but still, it's just like you know, all all people who um, you know uh, keep weapons in the house for self defense, they relish the day that yeah, a home invader yeah. will come in. Sad oh. but true. Sad but true. Oh, it's like, but please, I mean, please break into my house. I mean, well, him <laughs> and I, him and I, I do martial arts six days a week. Yeah, he does martial arts. I don't know, probably several days a week, and he's been doing it for years now. So eight days a week. Yeah, eight days a week. Oh, okay. So. If you broke into my apartment at this point, it would be a really bad day for you. <laughs> really bad day. I'll be doing, if you want to get in on Krav or Aikido, man. Aikido, I think, is even more effective than Krav for self defense. It's so efficient and it's so easy to what? move around. It's, it's really cool. What was. No, no, oh, I was, I was thinking Kenpo. It was the, the. Kenpo is the. Um, the one lion. Lo- yeah, the lieutenant beat the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, 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 back at Kravitz, uh, yeah. I always remember that. Yeah, he was, he, that guy kicked ass. Yeah, Kempo was designed specifically to beat up U.S. Marines. Makes sense. Because Marines used to bully the people on uh, some Hawaiian island. So they made Kempo just to fight back against the Marines. Yeah, but if you want to get in on some of these martial arts, man, the, the, Aikido is, is a pretty impressive martial arts. First oh. time branching out to Japanese stuff for me. Well... I mean, I did Korean stuff like a kid, but my first time like Korean really barbecue. Out. No, I mean Taekwondo, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, well, it's like Taekwondo, they, 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 they teach you the, the Korean barbecue at the same time, right? Uh, you got, you got to no. tender, tenderize the fucking meat, so you beat the shit ah, out of it, right? I see. You beat the shit so the, out the of it. The first step in Korean, like, food making is yeah. Taekwondo. Yeah, exactly. I see. Every chef is, is, is an accomplished martial artist. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah, I'm, I'm Asian, so I know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because every time we bring up, like, talking about Far Eastern culture in any kind of way, and we bring up anything other than Thai, you say, I'm the other kind of Asian, like the wrong kind. Yeah, I'm the wrong kind of Asian. Except but... in this context. Like that. Oh, yeah, like sushi? I don't know the fuck about that. No. Yeah. Sudoku? What the hell is that? Is that some kind of topping you put on pizza? Damn. What is Sudoku? Is that Japanese? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's it's that. Well, you, you know what it is. Like I know what it is. I yeah. just don't know where it's from. Math crossword. Forest colony. Pick forest colony. Yeah, you do. They changed it too much. Grim Plexus is pretty cool because the art style they they got for those crystals that you see, they got that inspired from uh, bismuth crystals. Really? You know how bismuth, like, yeah, bismuth forms, is like, those right angles and cubes yeah, and stuff? It's like the only straight line in nature or something. Yeah, the, the entire map is modeled after that. Oh, that's cool. There's bismuth crystals all over the place. That's really cool. I like bismuth. Yeah, it's fucking cool. <laughs> the fact that nature can make straight lines. Yeah, well, it's not really straight. It just appears straight on its scale. Like, if you zoom in, it's not straight at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah bismuth is... Beautiful, interesting. very well, rare too. It's it's also like uh, well, p- pixels on a, on a game, you know. If a line appears straight, it's actually not. Yeah, it's just it's... yeah. We have Gilgamesh on our team. Like Gilgamesh himself, the best yes. tactician ever to live. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Is he like an actual famous player? Did that, is that what you brought him up, or is it just because he's got shares the name? I, I, well, when I first started um, recording these, these things, I always like reading off the names. I always thought some of them were pretty funny. Like, um... You got Cyber Demon? Last, last Boy Scout? <laughs> What's up with that? Yeah, they, all the rest of them got killed in giant robots. Ah, uh, okay. And then, and then, so, I always think people, people with uh, lore names kind of... Like, they're kind of weird, like Colonel. You think Kirk. they're role playing or something? Yeah, it's it's just weird. Well, I mean, have you seen Stone Mountain? 
Yeah, I like know. If you're playing I, I a game st- and you take it seriously, it's hilarious. Oh, I love Stone I'd Mountain. I'd love to see I, it in some make where it. <laughs> no, actually, 80s cartoon. There, there's one guy. Oh fuck! What the fuck his name was? Uh, Panzer, uh, Panzer Magier. He is European as fuck, <laughs> and everyone calls him a space captain. And he'll get over the comms in the middle of a match, and he's like. Rally to me, MacWires. We're going to win this match. So he plays it like in universe. He does. Yeah. And he's like, strike with fury and honor. <laughs> and I'm just I like, like that. I like that kind of thing. It's really endearing. I love it. But it is mo- most players mute him because they're like, oh, you're, you're fucking annoying, dude. Uh, what? And I'm like, no sense of humor. You guys don't know how to have a good time. It's mostly Americans that do that. Mm. You Americans. I had a friend of mine who was like uh, yeah, world up. ranked back in the. Do you remember Project Gotham Racing? Uh, it was a really big thing when it came out, but it didn't last long. Oh, that does look like this one. That's really cool. Yeah, see, it's pretty. It looks like these actually. Really cool. Um, yeah, when Project Gotham Racing first came out, well, well, when it came out, it was a really huge deal. Um, he was like ranked like pretty high up in the world, and when he was playing like casually, just against whoever. He play with his controller instead of his steering wheel, and he'd uh, drive the wrong way down the uh, street. <laughs> and, well, down the track, and he'd go over the comms in like an Indian accent. You know, why is everybody going down the wrong bloody way of the bloody road? And I thought it was hilarious, but I was sat next to them. So. Other players didn't think it was so funny, but I did. <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta fuck around and have fun. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with the. Uh, Rolling every now and then in a game. It's frustrating in some games. If you try it in War Thunder, it's really irritating because it takes forever to get started. It's just pretty slow paced. Please hurry. Hey. You hurry. I'm in the circle. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. Every time. Every time you retort, you're wrong. <laughs> you stop retorting, man. To be fair, he's in a spider, which is speedy as fuck. Spider is also one of my favorite mechs. It's, it's it's teeny tiny. It has like no surface area to shoot. You can jump around. It can do a lot of shit. It's pretty it's pretty good. So is there any like a viable stealth in this game? Because I like multiplayer where you can stealth. Yeah, uh, ECM mechs are a good stealth option. Ah. And then later on they're going to introduce a new patch that has a thing called stealth armor. Which literally it makes, makes you, you invisible. It doesn't make you visually invisible, but it takes you off all oh, radar. Off the radar. Okay. No one can target you. That uh, gear up that I mentioned earlier is like a, a free to play tank thing. There's a thing where if you stand still, it makes you. The uh, problem with it is that um, snipers yeah. can't ruin the game. I'm just waiting here because um, I can't push you're that. A sniper pussy. I'm not a, I'm not a push puss. But it's just, I'm so short ranged, I can't charge that flank yet. Ah, you're a shotgun pussy. That doesn't exist. I'm utilizing Viking technology. Hey. No, nah, I'm uh I'm in insurance. <laughs> what? You're into insurance? He's in insurance. Selling in He sells insurance. I can't wait to hear what your premiums are. Broken. It was broken. <laughs> Right now, this is kind of the waiting game, so like, uh, what, what most matches happen is you, everyone gets to their positions, they kind of piss about, wait around, they trade okay. long-range fire like they're doing now. Eventually, one guy trades a little bit too much and he dies, uh, and the other team realizes... Rushes. Yeah, exactly. They, 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 they smell the blood. Right. Smell the blood and water. Target spotted. And they just charge, and yeah. All right. So, I'm just waiting here, because I have no long-range at all whatsoever. And I have no stealth either. Dude, come on, man. Why are you running in front of me, man? Come on. Oh, is that friendly fire? Yeah, there is. Absolutely. Oh, shit. There's dudes up here. Target spotted. I wanna fuck him up. So this is an Atlas coming up here. He's the heaviest mech, or one of the heaviest mechs in the game. Atlas? Yeah. Atlas. Oh, he has a face. He's well, a big yeah. fucker. The guy, you have him on your uh, board game? Yes. He was designed ex- explicitly to have uh, menacing features. Let's see, it's not bad. It's bad the same time. He's dead. Wow, my back is open up. Holy fuck! Damn. Well, you don't go for it. Look at my back, though. Holy shit! You guys all want to make sure you kill heavy. Target 
Target spotted. Yeah, you know, you, you shoot the guys, you get the points, and then you win the game. <laughs> no, I mean specifically that guy. Oh, you broadcasted that? Yeah, I did. If you see the little thing down there, uh, you see my radar? Uh, right there? The mini map? Yeah. Uh, if you see my name pop up in the bottom, it means I'm talking. Okay. So I'm still going to chill here because uh, everyone seems to be long ranging right now, so. How much I can do, except maybe get this guy, this bushwhacker, but. Oh, yeah, I need to show you my uh, Iranian roundels that I put on some of Oh, yeah. yeah I didn't, I didn't... Oh, what the fuck. How the fuck did he get here? Are the, uh, the YouTube friends here, are they aware of your um, Persian skills? Uh, no, I never I never actually told them anyone yet. Oh, okay. Can we have someone get in the circle, please? Whoa. Uh, no! Oh, you coast. Oh, my God. You got killed by the last Boy Scout. I, 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 God damn it, I'm back. So, I opened up my rear too much, and... You get see, in the freaking circle. This display over here is my oh, front armor. Sake. This is the rear. Oh, okay. So, my front armor is, like, pretty good. Yeah. But the rear just got taken out. Not existent. Yeah, so... To be honest, I'm kind of glad we don't have match with the... F8, F8, we've got two back behind us, and F8. Here, I'm gonna quit out of this one. But not a match with what? The, the guy who was getting the circle, that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. People aren't a bloody kid. Well, I mean, you kind of do have to get in the circle, but it's... it's... I know, but it's annoying to nag your teammate. I do that sometimes. Unless six guys... Am I right? <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, um, I do that sometimes too, but the thing is, well, I, I found when I, whenever I command people in this game, that they, they, they tend to listen. Yeah. Because I put it in a way that they actually want because to Because number one premium player in the world, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Said sure, everyone. Why, why does it say invalid? What's going on with that? Or does it mean invalid? No. Invalid means it doesn't have an engine in it. What? Hey, that's actually a Persian rattle. There you go. And it's done, done up in desert camo. Very cool. Really cool. Yeah, I use those on my Spitfires. Um, yeah, so like, uh, the way the way this thing works is not all mechs have to have an engine installed in them. You have to have an engine in them to actually use them in a match. Right. But they can be sitting in your mech bay without an engine. Okay. Because engines are the most expensive part of this game. So you can like swap an engine from one thing to another. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good idea. Which is what I do most of the time. Like what I did just now, um, because engines are super duper expensive. Right. Some engines can cost more than an entire mech. So I'm gonna go into bushwhacker here, and uh, people have described this as basically an attack helicopter on arms, like this main body part right here. An attack helicopter on arms. <laughs> so we'll go with this that's, one. That's cool. I like your uh, round. I don't think anyone really recognizes what, where or what they're from. No, when I use them on my spit, I get questions. Usually, um, what do you have, an Italian roundel? <laughs> yeah, Italian. But that's not what the Italian flag looked like at the time. No. It had the um, crest in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Italian. Yeah. I got, I got spaghetti in my mouth. Also, boy. it's the wrong green. But it's all. It is. Persian is. You know what's very annoying though? The American roundel is not the traditional circles. You're talking about on this? No, I mean like an actual like real life. Oh the no, American it's the roundel. circle with the stripe. Yeah, it has little stripes on the side. Well, you say the traditional circle, but I mean a lot of the Western countries had circles, but most places had squares and triangles. The Turks had a red square. Croats also had a red and white square. So I mean, it, it really depends on which country you're talking about. But the thing is, like, and Spain was a whole it, cut the frogs at the time. It, it's hard to put an American roundel in this game because of how the decal system works. Yeah. So, uh, it's just really hard to do that. I, I usually don't. I, I usually go back to the other, one of the other American, like, symbols, I guess, is like, it's the, uh, the white star with the red dot in the middle of the star right. and, the, and the blue background. Oh, that's the old school um, Air Force, well, Army Air Corps. Yeah, that's usually the one I put on my max if uh, if I'm gonna do an American round. Very cool. Is there any like air combat in there? I know there's like um, air vehicles. Is there combat in this game. In in Mechler, no, there's no air combat. In, in tabletop, yeah, they have aerospace fighters okay. and conventional fighters. 
So conventional fighters only work in atmosphere, right. like on a planet. Yeah. Aerospace fighters can go between space and air. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, there is space, space combat. Uh, I've never done any tabletop with aerospace fighters. Because the way they work, if you're going to do that with uh, like conventional warfare on the ground, is they do like strafing run. Okay. So like, let's like say... ground attack, A-10 type. Yeah, basically. Let's say a mech can move, say, six hexes on map in one right? Okay. Aerospace fighters usually go like 20 or 24. So they're just like, Crazy. Meow, they're like just zooming over the battlefield. Um, so there's a whole there's a whole set of rules that go with that, and I just haven't bothered to look in. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like every level you go on a board game, it gets deeper. True. I'm just glad it's not like Warhammer where we have to take out like fucking rulers and shit. Just so well, that's because they don't have hexes. Yeah, they don't. And you actually you can do battle tech, uh with a distance system. But most people don't prefer to do that. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of dedication. I'm always sort of... I don't know if the correct term would be in awe or um, confused by, but uh, I'm always sort of amazed by people that do, in a dedicated way, play the Warhammer board game. Yeah. Or tabletop. Because it's complicated. It takes forever. It's expensive. Very expensive. Ridiculously expensive. Ugh. And the rules are so specific and so broken, it sounds like, that, like, I, I, I don't know why anybody has the patience for it or the money. Have you, do you know a guy on YouTube called um, Zoran the Bear? Yeah, you told me about him before. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, got yeah. a beautiful, chocolatey low voice, <laughs> <laughs> which is yeah. really why I like his videos. But yeah. he um, talks about Warhammer a lot. Unbelievable how expensive it is to actually play that game. Dude, it is. It like, cannot be as fun as what they're charging. There's no, no way. Absolutely not. I don't think so. It's fucking like... Uh, it's got a cool lore. It's got a cool fluff. But it's just nowhere near worth what they're asking. The fluff is one of the best parts, I think. Yeah, the fluff's cool. Yeah, I mean, you talked to Bavano about that. He, oh, yeah. he adores the fluff. He's oh, yeah. read so many of them. I mean, it's cool stuff. It's just not worth the price. Yeah, I mean, a, a single tactical marine squad is like 60 bucks. Something like That's that. That's mad. It's insane. That's mad. It's just a hunk of plastic. Yep. You could 3D print that shit. Some, uh, actually, with, with Battletech, people have. Oh, yeah. Because uh, tabletop has a bit of a disconnect when it comes to the computer games. So computer game models are not going to be the ones on the tabletop. Is that because of the whole Japanese work? No, that's just because uh, the people who make the miniatures um, don't necessarily use the same models or artwork as oh. the games do. Because they, they, they just can't. Okay. They don't have the uh, resources, time, material to do it. Uh, so what people have done is they've taken the 3D models from like the games and imported them to a 3D printer and made models out of them. Okay. Which is not technically legal, but the company... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's a Catalyst Games Lab. Ca Catalyst Game Labs, which owns it now, okay. has not really taken any effort to go and persecute these people. Well, I mean, good on them, really, if you not really worth the time. Yeah. But in official tournament play, uh, you have to use... That's... I have no problem with that. Yeah. Because that's, if, you, that's if you're in official tournament play and you win money, you're winning money off the backs of the people that made the game. Yeah, you should use their So models. you should use the... Yeah, that, I have no problem with that. That's fine, yeah. But then, the Games Workshop are um, fucking sticklers. Pretty, pretty yeah, financially evil. So it's tough to sympathize. I still think you should use the official stuff for tournaments. But I have no problem with 3D printing just to play it casually. I mean, the amount of money they're asking is ridiculous. It is. I wish they'd make a good video game every now and then. Apparently, uh, Deathwing wasn't that good. I mean, it looked good, but I haven't played it yet. Yeah, I haven't played it yet either, but the reviews aren't great. Uh, I mean, you can't really go wrong with a co-op Left 4 Dead style. Total War 3 was a total letdown. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm not a huge fan of Total War 2. I haven't played the multiplayer yet, but I much prefer Total War 1. It was alright. I, I found fun in it. But 3, they tried to turn it into a MOBA and it just it just didn't... Into a MOBA? Yeah. Like League of Legends style... Will you play one guy? And... Ish. Kind of. It was kind of chaotic, honestly. It just... It was... I would not recommend it. 2, uh... Dunno War 2, though, Last Stand Mode, that is... That is a lot of fun. Uh, the Retribution? Yeah. 
Um, it's 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 you playing as one character with your friends up to three, I think. Yeah. And you fight off against hordes. Oh, it's a multiplayer only thing. Yeah. Oh, we should play this shit. It's, I don't know what to do. I haven't played it more. It's fucking good. Right, Let's do it, it, man. Play it. All right. Who knows? Maybe it's recorder friendly. Hey. Go ahead. Um. Charlie primary. If for me, now. I am not very good at RTSs. I'm not either. For me, medium is. I mean, uh, yeah, medium is always too hard and easy is always. Fox too hard. seven incoming. But I really like the battles. Like, Iron I like Steel, don't extend watching yourself. the battles. That's what I play RTS for. I find it fun and sort of cathartic. Total War 1 is sort of perfect for that. Like, it's challenging at times on easy mode. Uh, but it doesn't absolutely crush me on uh, medium. So I, I just find it really fun. Uh, Total War 1 is like the best RTS in the world. I still say StarCraft is up there, but. Well, I haven't played StarCraft. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, both of them, I think, are a solid time. Only time. Um, rock yeah, solid. Two, two is okay, it's just not, not enough. Well, excuse you, Jesus. I'm just saying... No, 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 not you, I was talking oh. about Warhammer. The, the mech that was... His name was Warhammer? No, that that's oh. the name of the mech. Oh, what a weird bit of serendipity there. Yeah, this one right here, see it? Yeah, how, uh... That's the Warhammer. Look at those nipples, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> War nipple, more like. War nipple. He's got Goss nipples. Those are Goss yeah, rifles. It's like the porn version of Warhammer. <laughs> Imagine that. He's the a porn version of Warhammer. Shit exists, yo. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I have no doubt in my mind. Ah, you missed. Looks like they're pushing this. Your old sort of pendants. I like the Viper. I hate those things. What? Viper Dragonfly. It's a speedy little fuck. Very hard, hard to hit. It's a speedy fuck. Like lobster, easier to hit though, because they're big, big honkering things. <laughs> speedy fucks and big honkering. Are you blocking me? Oh, lordy, lordy. <laughs> okay, that might have been a bit loud. <laughs> Was that broadcast? Yeah, uh, no, 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 it was not oh, broadcast. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I Sorry to everybody that has ears. No, I seriously fucking hate people who do that shit. They, like, you're trying to back up and somebody's standing right behind you. Yeah, blocking. I know fuck exactly you. what you mean. Fuck you. Yeah, like when you're flying, both of them put your plane in reverse. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a pain. That's way more than I can handle. I'm only a medium max, so I'm right in the middle. I, I can't I can't take on all the be willing to... Uh, Play as a big bastard for a bit. That's what I was for a while. The gargoyle. That I was mean, the biggest of bastards. Oh, like a huge bastard. Yeah, I guess I could. I, I'd I, just like to see it. I hate driving those way. Thanks. But if you're not good at it, it's not that I'm not good at it. It's just, I don't. I just don't enjoy uh, it. Oh, uh, 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 best assault mech player 2017. No, I am the worst assault. I swear. Did you get up? Oh. oh, you like faded away. Fucking leg, yeah, fuck you. Get your leg, some bitch. See, light mechs, their survivability is all with uh, their speed. If they well, it makes sense. I mean, if they can't move, they're dead. Yeah, right. Well, our army has to slow you. But if you take their legs off, uh, they can't move. Right. We're not doing too hot right now. Oh, I'm not putting a whole lot of priority on doing it too. Yeah, you I'm not, really. Yeah, you no. He's playing his hardest, everyone. No, fuck. No, I'm not. Stop. Stop it. What authority do I have? This is the first time I've ever seen this game. Stop it. Get some help. I'm gonna take his leg off. Yeah, he's dead. Most. There's a spider around here somewhere. Dread 3 2. Did you see they're making a uh, Judge Dread TV show? Oh, really? Yeah, I cannot wait. It's called Mega City 1. Huh. I cannot wait. Apparently, I've been listening to so many uh, podcasts and stuff talking about it. They said um, it's going to be like they're going to take the craziest stuff from the comics and put that into the uh, show, and I can't wait to see it. Judge Fish. That's what we need, everyone. Judge Fish. Judge Fish? Yeah, Goldfish was the judge for a while. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's uh, 2008 is the craziest comic book ever. It's great. I love it.
Like, pull B-side. But it's me against six people right now? Yeah. I'm gonna lose? No, you're not. Watch Believe. Me Watch me whip. Watch me fucking die. That would be a better song. Yeah, I'm dead. I have an XL on this, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get smoked here in a second. SMOKED! Coached. <laughs> what is rewarded with a supply cash? Does that mean, like, top of the planet? No, supply caches are just like, uh, you get this little crate thing that you might open, it's like a, you spin it, basically, and you get a random reward. Oh, okay. It's, 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 I, I didn't... Are you on this? Hey, yeah. top of your team, yo! It's, it's not top of the team, it's organized by well, weight. why would they do that? It's organized by score. It's organized by weight. Well, they should organize by score. Okay, so match score, let's go by match score, so two, six, seven, right? Okay, so you are top by match score. No, I'm not. In, in four, alpha, what four, four. alpha is. Alpha lands. Okay, so let me explain that. So, in Battletech lore for the Inner Sphere, um, oh, loudy. you know how Army, or Army, or let's, let's say even Air Force, right, is organized by like flights and squadrons? Yeah. The way the, way the military works in this is you have individual pe people of lances. Lances are four max. So lances are four. Basically. And then uh, three lances is a company. Lances are usually organized by weight uh, or um, purpose, like strikers. Oh, yeah. Flankers. So it's just like fight squad. Sort organized of. by. Sort of. Let's go with an atlas. Oh, are your uh, YouTube friends aware of your uh, ghostliness? Huh? Are they, like, if they're not aware of your potion skills, are they aware of. What are they. I don't know what to mention. Oh, um. I don't know if I mentioned the airport stuff. Well, did now. It doesn't matter. No. I'm not saying it matters, I'm just saying I don't. Let's go with this one. This is an Atlas. That, like, the biggest bastard. It is. It's one of the biggest ones. So the max the max weight a mech can be uh, in this game is 100 tons. One is 100. Ah! The biggest. I mean, there, there's other 100 ton necks out there, but this one is. Nah, yeah, I'll keep it. So this one is loaded up with AC-20 and four SRM-6s. So an AC-20 is the biggest caliber auto cannon you can get. Oh, ultra cannon twenty. It's extremely short ranged. It's what, like a. What is the twenty? Room? Twenty is just the class of auto cannon. You have twos, fives, tens. There's not like twenty millimeter. No, absolutely not. Uh, so the way the, the way the the cannon sizes work, it, um, auto cannons can be either like one single shot, like tank cannon shell, mm -hmm. or it can be like a kind of a rotary burst thing. But in this game, they uh, auto, regular auto cannon just one. So. The way it works is, um, I think AC2s are the smallest caliber. They're like 20 to 50 millimeter shells. Oh, so the scale is way different. Yeah, way, way different. Okay, so the uh, smallest thing is the 20 millimeter. That's yeah. still like a cannon. Yeah, it, it's a cannon. Uh, but then it goes up from there, and an AC5 is like an Abrams gun. Like 80 to 120. So AC20 being the biggest is, what is that? That's like a uh, 210 millimeter. That is humongous. Yeah. yeah but it's a snub nose cannon. Because, like, if you, if you look at it, right, look how short that barrel is. That's, yeah. that's, t that's a snub nose. So, this thing is absolutely god awful range. Okay. Uh, it hits the hardest, though. And um, I think if, if you did the math in tabletop, so one, one ton of ammo in tabletop carries five shots. Yeah. I think. Yeah, five shots. So, one ton divided by five, that's. What, 200 pounds? No, 500 pounds, right? Depends on, the American ton is different. Uh, American ton is 2,000 pounds. So divide that so by five. That's four, 400. Each shell is 400 pounds. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. The biggest, the biggest shell, the biggest round in planes in North Thunder, I think of World War II, is a 75 millimeter. Yeah. Attached to a, the bottom of a German attacker. That thing takes everything out of the water. Yeah. That's like an AC-5. So, that's like nothing. 
That's nothing compared yeah, to this. That's what was good. Oh, yeah. Man, hey, you suck. <laughs> There's no. I'm going to get a drink. All right, before we start. Yep. What are you getting? Cool it with the booze. Well, then you get that hangover. Yeah, yeah home now, friend. I am. I don't really get hangover. I know I'm one of those insufferable people that everybody. Lucky. Yeah, there was some guy who did the math on actual dimension. Like, apparently, it, they turn out to be like super thin, uh, like pancake shaped bullets. Like, it's just a big disc that fires like yeah. the most unaerodynamically way possible. You, you could. I mean, you could, yeah. Is that like taking into account fitting the ammo into the, the neck? Oh, no. Absolutely not, because. <laughs> None of these mechs make any sense when it comes to like My internal storage, storage for the ammo. It makes no sense right. at all. Okay. Because literally, so um, I, I think I mentioned this before, but if you, if you take a missile heavy mech, like a long range missile, yeah. you look at the size of the tubes. That's the rough size about how big one of those missiles are. Talk about like the firing? Yeah, the firing okay. tubes. That's, that's the missiles sit inside of those tubes, right? right? So if you take the size of those missiles, some of these mechs in this game can carry up to 2,000 missiles. Okay. So you take that size, multiply it by 2,000, 2, right? 2,000. Where the fuck does it go <laughs> Right. in that thing? Right. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's the uh, Cyclops excuse. The, um, the pocket dimension. You know Cyclops from X-Men? Yeah. People always go on about, like, how that, the, the, the blast from his eyes isn't lasers. It's like a concussive blast. They talk about, like, why it doesn't just rip his head off when he fires it. And it's because, like, his eyes go into a pocket dimension that's all made out of laser fiery stuff. What? And he just opens the path to that, like, pocket dimension and fires back. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Comic books are weird, man. Wow. Yeah. So it's that kind of excuse. It's like, don't think about it, is the real answer. True enough. True enough. Yeah. I wish comic books had, like, sort of stopped at that. Like, just don't think about it. It doesn't matter. My bad. So many. Like the speed force and the flash. If they just think, yeah, he's, he's really fast, just don't think about it. We wouldn't have to deal with the speed force. The speed force is... I guess it's a bit hard to do in a sci-fi universe like this. Because there are some other concepts in this game that actually are explained pretty well. Like uh, how the mechs move. Yeah. It's not just simple actuators. Gyros and, like, and... Hydraulics and stuff like that. It's actually electronic, uh, electronically controlled fibrous muscles. Oh, yeah. So they have um, their artificial muscles when they have like, electric current applied to them. They actually can trick. Like that's, yeah. that, that's actually like a real concept. Yeah, it's, like, it, uh, it's a real thing now. Yeah. I think it's the University of Birmingham or something like that has developed um, uh, artificial limbs for people, like 3D printed limbs. Yeah. Are just like that. Exactly. And they're like dirt cheap. I mean, buy a arm for, I don't know, like less than $100. Or yeah. it's, it's very cheap, but that's com probably completely wrong, that number. A lot cheaper than big limbs have been for, for and like Actually articulate the fingers and yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing where the world's going, man. We're all gonna it's gonna turn into data sex. Yep. I never asked for this. Yeah, we did though. I'd ask quite a lot. if I had only one arm, I'd ask for another. I, I would too. I don't think I'd replace my current limbs, honestly. <laughs> no. I kinda like feeling my arms yeah, and stuff. The, the perfect. Is it implied in Deus Ex that he has like nervous feeling in his arms? In his robo arms, or is it just numb? I don't think they ever mentioned it. Because that. I don't think he'd be able to, like, the depth perception of, like, his, his tactile depth perception just wouldn't be the same if he mm. didn't have nervous feeling. He would never be able to stab anybody in the neck the way he does all the time. I mean, I think he's kind of gotten used to it now because he's had it for years. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, but kinda. still, I mean, he'd still be sort of floundering and awkward. The first Might couple months, it. yeah, I'd imagine. So, in this back, we're actually sitting in one of the eye sockets. Oh, so this is just like half of his face. Yeah. Uh. 
If I could show you the front, I'd, I'd probably tell you which eye. I would guess at left. You're in the ship. Look all sad and squinty. Ah, get out of my way. Yeah, so this mech is entirely short ranged, entirely ammo based. Huh. So it needs to kill something quickly and be done with it. Well, it's got like hefty firepower. It does. Each of those, uh, SRM 6 means it's, it shoots six missiles short range. Those missiles are supposed to do two damage. Does SRM mean short range missiles? Yes, it does. And AC 20 does 20 damage. I learned that while doing my OB briefs, which is going to mean nothing to anybody except you, but. Yeah. Doing my OB briefs a couple of months in. They mentioned that? I was briefing like an AA 10 or something. Yeah. And it occurred to me that AA means. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That never occurred to me before that. I was like. What the, soul missile. what the fuck does SA that mean, though? Service to air. Oh. Family service to air missile. Well, I know that. Yeah. SA is service to air, and then there's, um... But what is AGM is air to ground. Yeah, I knew that. Need assistance! I just, I just thought that was cool. Target spotted! Yeah, there's some planes at War Thunder whenever they say, give me assistance. It's like, no. Like, if a Wyvern? No. Wyvern's overpowered as shit. Negative. So what does what uh, what does FM eighty stand for then? Fucking missile. Fucking missile. Well, that's different because that kind of stuff is not uh, American. We have different standards for that. like we pick letters. That, like like all the MIGs start with like, like yeah like well that's stupid. American. But, but stupid. all the all the um, Russian like every MIG all of its all their um, designators start with F. So we immediately know that they're big. Huh. Uh, this means like fighter or something. I mean, like f there's fulcrum and there's. Uh, oh, yeah, fulcrum. Foxbat. Foxbat, yeah. Need assistance. Foxbat. Fuck, fuck, fuck bastard. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, this just kind of how it goes. Target spotted. Oh! -ho! oh! I one shot that guy. <laughs> And that was an assault mech too, holy okay. fuck. Okay, so like a one shot's not a, not a common occurrence there. No, absolutely not. I'm getting fucked up now. I need to get underneath again. That is not common at all. Get out of my way! <laughs> Jesus Christ. You! Come here. Watch your cookies. I'm gonna get them. Boom! Is he co- no. no he, he didn't he coast. He shut down. But he's not moving. He's and dead. And coast. Did you, wait, you didn't get the kill for that? No, I didn't. I got most damage, though. Ah. Yeah, I think most damage should be equal to the kills. Oh. See, see all those red dots? That's the enemy. That, they're all in a big line. Oh. That's like tactically unsound, friends. It isn't for this game. You don't line up. Well, yeah, I suppose you guys are all made of metal. In this game, usually the winning tactic is to blob up as much as possible. Really? Just artillery is not really a thing. You just put the uh, toughest guys on the outside and the pushiest guys on the inside. Not necessarily. It just it just just blob up. Oh, okay. It just yeah. Focus fire is definitely the biggest winning strategy in this game. If you can focus down one guy and kill him like immediately. Oh, so like everybody shoots at one guy. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's quite smart. That is the winning strategy. I've noticed game. Russian teams in War Thunder are really good at sticking together. So they're like they'll all go after one guy and everybody else will dive after like one of the dudes and they'll be together for the whole time so it works really well. And that's exactly what Russian planes did in the World War. Yes. Early Russian uh, planes in World War II in real life didn't have aiming reticules. Uh, okay. So they, they just couldn't aim until the British stepped in and said hey take these because you need them. Um, so they would just fire one tonally and randomly at German planes and just fail miserably to shoot them. Uh, yeah. Eric Hartman, the most prolific fighter pilot uh, of the Second World War, had killed hundreds and hundreds of Russian planes. And he said, if a Russian plane was behind you, you didn't even need to worry. It was fine. Like, there was no fear involved because they'd never be able to hit you because they can't even see. They have huh. no aiming reticule. It took years for him to get them. Shit, I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. Yeah, you are. Best player. Nah, no, I'm dead. There's too many right down here. Self-destruct. I was gonna get that warhammer. Oh, killed by dread again. 
Well, I did my part. I think you got your list. You got a kill, you got two assists. That's... 87 damage. Uh, not great for this mech. I could have done better. But... Oh. I'm not shooting for necessarily too much performance right now, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. When do you go for top performance then? You're uh, streaming without me? I know, yeah. But I'm not drunk. Fair enough. I've never, like, streamed before, so... I mean, yes, he says on his uh, drownouts that he gets performance anxiety when he's uh, oh, playing I, on streams. I definitely do. Oh, yeah? Like, if I know I'm recording... I think it takes a lot of strength to admit that. No, like, for real, like, uh... Like, when you, when you know you're recording, you've got different standards for yourself. I, I've had so many matches where, like, I, I'm not recording and I do so well, yeah. and then when I get done, I'm like, man, I wish I recorded I wish I that. Recorded that yeah. Fuck. But then you recorded it, you and then I recorded it, and then yeah. I fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, that's how right. it works. Yeah, it's funny how that goes. Especially on a game that is really, like, multiplayer. So really, you're under scrutiny all the time. Yeah, absolutely. It's not this, quite the same level. I'm gonna check uh, storage space real quick. Alright. It should be good. Got two terabytes. Good to go. Alright, so... This guy had all his weapons in his arms, and he had arms left. So he just, he's just, uh, he's just gonna kill himself. All right, make suicide. Yeah. Make suicide. Don't be roboted him. Fun fact: the uh, the spider mech in lore actually does not have protections. Just sitting there. Yeah. Oh, that's not <laughs> Robbers as ejection solutions. Oh my god, hilarious! And you can't help but call it ejaculation every time. Yeah. In my ejaculation scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the F U chat fifteen. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta give him credit though. He's one of the best crafters I've ever seen. Oh yeah. He's unbelievably good at crafting. Mate. He seems like a pretty nice fella. But he's got that social phobia. Yeah, man. Do you see his uh, Sims from today? I haven't. Hilarious. I was dying. It's so fucked up. It's so not acceptable. Like, for human discourse. But, man. It's just not how people should act. But it's so funny. I like his, uh, his, um, of the like recent... The worst guy in the world. His recent, like, uh, Mountain Blade. Uh, oh, uh, Lord Thick Dick. Lord Thick Dick. Th tick Dick. Thick Dick. Dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that's the fastest I've ever seen him kick a character in the head and start a new one. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh my god, that's just fantastic. Um, let's, let's yes. go... Kodiak is one of my absolute favorite mechs of all time. Oh. You've said that about like six or seven different mechs. But this one holds a, holds a special place in my heart. What is it? Because uh, there was a game called MechWare 2 Ghost Bear's Legacy. Where you focus on that clan over there. The Ghost Bear clan. The, the, the bear type folk. Yeah. Yes. The circle E bears. And the Kodiak was the the uh the best salt mech in the game. Oh yeah. And it's just it's oh. just super cool. I mean look at it, it looks like a fucking bear. It's got a bear's head. Cool. It looks like a duck. I can it see it has that. a duck's bear. But I mean look, it's got fucking claws. Are they like melee weapons or? Uh no, they're just there purely for display. So you can you can actually retract them and put them back in there. If they don't do anything, what's the point of your job? Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna... Skilled up. Uh, Kodiak is also one of the... Uh, was considered one of the most... hard max in the game. Is that multiplayer? Player game? No, in this game. Oh, in this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you... Uh, there was a multiplayer scene for two. Called Netmech, but it was way back in the nineties when uh, online play was, was crap. Really, yeah. crap. Yeah, I remember when uh, PS2 introduced. I tried to play uh, I think three. I a lot of Super uh, laggy. Yeah. Well, but, not only that, you just couldn't find anybody. Well, oh, no. I remember trying to play. Um, Vanilla Team Fortress 2 on the orange box for the Xbox. Yeah. And trying to find matches in the Is that Xbox original? Yeah, actually. Yeah. That was a fucking nightmare. Yeah, the 360 one had some good multiplayer going. Uh, people criticize that a lot, but I think that's just because it's pure vanilla. 
But vanilla Team Fortress is still good team. It's still good, yeah. Because yeah. they, they it's made, just they not made it right. meant to be controlled by it. It just doesn't feel right. Control. No. And I started out playing that game with you. And also, Xbox suffers from not having uh, Prop Hunt. Best multiplayer mode ever made Prop, by man. Prop Hunt is great. Prop Hunt is the best thing. <laughs> I agree. Have you seen Donkey's uh, Prop Hunt? I'm not, no. Watch Donkey's. Oh. Maybe I will. Okay. Oh, what did I do? Should have done this much earlier. Why do you enjoy it? You like it? It's all right. I just, I just, I want everything to turn out right. <laughs> the conversation part is not what I'm worried about. It's yeah. the, it's the production value. Right. Uh, well, you see, it's complete opposite. That's oh. the nasty ass. There's no production value at all. Alright, good. I've never actually done a recording this long before. So yeah. I just want to make sure. No, that, that's, uh, that's good. That Technically. Just uh, hoping I get picked up by the microphone. You, you need to talk louder like me. It's my, you know, I'm not used to talking loudly. You know, yeah, you said talking I got loudly. my low, buzzy no, voice. Morning, trying to quick have data. Jesus! Oh. Go away. Target spotted. Far away. Our uh, naturally sort of combative relationship hasn't uh, bubbled up yet. I think it's because it's late and we've both been drinking, but still. Probably. At it's some point in doing this, it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, you know we're going to just disagree on something. Well, if we don't drink the entire time, every single time we do this, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, I mean, it has to. You, it's just, it's you, just how we conduct ourselves. You, you make it sound like you want it to come out. I mean, I think it's I think it's entertaining. I mean, Henley treats it as a spectator sport. Oh, yeah, everyone else seems to like it. Yeah. But... What do you want, man? Fucking yeah. I like that guy's colors. He looks like a uh, um, ski jacket from the nineties. That is an interesting. Why? Why are you over there? Okay, look look how far he is over a kilometer away from us. Okay. And he's an assault mech. He cannot move that fast. I don't know why he's there. Okay. He needs to be closer to us. There's a guy coming. He says help. The guy coming around the corner. Oh, he's way yeah, the he's fuck out there. He's more than He's way the fuck out there. There's no one gonna reach him in time. Team Mad Max. Which one? Any of them. Uh, I saw the most recent one that came out, Fury Road. Oh yeah. What was it? Called? What do you think? It was fucking great. I oh, love okay, it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's name is a reference to it. Uh, it's a good ass movie. It was fantastic. I, lo I love the uh, the guitarist on the front. Oh, uh, the Doof Warrior. Yeah. yeah. Fucking great. The world, I think, needs more... Um, Doofariness? Well, yeah. Wouldn't complain about that, but... The world needs more uh, Dodge Chargers with Tank Tread. <laughs> I think that would benefit us. That do is good. I just like that part where um, he's, he's all tied up to the front of that stick. And he sees his car going by, and he's like, "That's, That's mine. mine." I was like, "Oh, it. It. yeah." I think uh, Tom Hardy did a really good job. He did. He got cast as Venom in the Venom movie. I think that's the perfect choice. I am looking forward to that. Oh fuck! They're over there. Fox six, Echo six. I forgot they, uh, they changed this mech last time. I can't, uh, I can't fire everything at once now. That, like, overheating went crazy. Really hard to see, actually. Used to be. Yeah, this mech is, uh, absolute. Roger. I mean, as, as fitting, because it's the biggest thing in the game. Class of the Gulf code here, India. Should be wrecking people. We had a mobile. 
Moving left. On the salt left right side. I'm gonna go down here. If that works out for me. Wait. The bold move. Let's see if it pays off. Those two assaults in Echo 6 right side are stuck. India and the other one is stuck. India trying to cross. Have you, uh, have you watched any of the new Samurai Jack? Nope, I didn't watch a lot of the old stuff. But he, like, kills people now, right? Yes, he does. So he's, like, fallen really hard and he's, like, a bad guy now? Oh, he has, like, PTSD. Oh. He go he's, he's in fucking... That's fucking dark. It's very dark. Is For it, like... It must be on Adult Swim. Yes, it is. Okay. Not on the radio, radio network. No, no way. Yeah, he, like, chops people up now. Weird. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I didn't see a whole lot of the original stuff. To me, when I was a kid, if a cartoon wasn't funny, there was no real point in watching it. I thought comedy cartoon were like hand in hand. If it were a cartoon, then it was sort of implied that it was going to be funny. But I didn't really bother watching the dramatic stuff. I see. Oh no! Did you dish? I overheated, yeah. damn it. Did you dead? Yeah, he fucked me up. Uh, coached. Oh, I fucked that one up. <laughs> Amusing death, though. <laughs> yeah. The, the ragdolls in this game yeah. are pretty funny. Because they, they, they don't... There's no attention to weight at all on the mech, so they just kind of float around everywhere. Uh, it's like the Skyrim thing. <laughs> yeah. where, when things die, yeah. they forget for a second they have bones. Yeah. And then they remember they have bones <laughs> and spaz out into the sky. Yep. I love Skyrim. Ragdolls, they're my favorite thing. That's that's exactly what happens here. There, there's even a bug one time where the Atlas um, didn't ragdoll correctly. So when they killed him, uh, that little stub where his cannon was sticking out, he would constantly spin on the ground on that. Oh, so uh, you got more off center. <laughs> he'd just spin around. It was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, this guy, he's Greek. How can you tell? His flag. Huh? Oh, I didn't even see that. You Grecan? No. I love Greece. Bet he's like a Spartan in real life. Bet he holds off Thermopylae against the Persians. Well, that's not entirely what happened. They sort of lost really high. Because Alexander came back and he was like, Well, yo, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. <laughs> well, he, yeah. Took a while. Ancient world was like, what you want, fam? <laughs> He's like, that's just exactly gonna fuck what the ancient world said. <laughs> just gonna fuck your shit up. Yeah, that, that <laughs> took quite a while. Oh shit, a dragon! That is a dragon he's shooting at. Oh, that's a all a dragon. Dragons are fucking cool. I love dragons. Yeah. <laughs> they're so crap in like in the fluff. Oh yeah. Uh, they're like the, the. Well, he killed that Greek guy. And then he got killed. Oh, we won. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a, a, a dragon next to show you just how cool they are. All right. Dragons are absolute crap in the fluff. They're like the, the de facto henchman mech. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, the goon. Yeah, I don't do, I don't do too much. Whatever. It's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, I love dragons because they have an absolute fuck ton of armor. They're fast. I like survivable things. Who doesn't? I don't necessarily like mechs that have like a shit ton of weapons. Two lightning cannons and two lasers. What was that thing you were telling me about? Like six flamethrowers or something? Drop out of a tree. Oh, what? I can't remember. You told me like somebody that you watch play this like drops out of trees. <laughs> he has tons of flamethrowers. Oh. He just overheats himself to death. Or you, <laughs> you're talking about uh, the beef. The beef. Um, there's this. I, I thought he was German at first, but I don't really know accents that well, so. Um, he has this absolutely hilarious accent, but he's a uh, Canadian. Oh, yeah. And um, he made a mech. Uh, 
had like 12 or 13 uh, PPCs, which are lightning cannons, basically, which is way more than any mech should ever have, ever. Okay. So he would jump up into a tree, shut down so no one could see him, and then he'd visually scan and wait for someone to pass him, power up, jump out of the tree, shoot them, and it was so much firepower in one, in one volley that he could basically one-shot anyone. But in the process, he would kill himself. <laughs> so it's one kill and dead. Yeah, basically. He would overheat and kill himself. And that, that was the whole gimmick. He would just jump out of a tree, kill you, and then die. I like that kind of mentality. I like <laughs> the sort of do a, an interesting thing rather than an effective thing. Oh, yeah. It, I don't know if you've ever seen Henley play XCOM. But he, like the multiplayer XCOM. Yeah. He tries to play it on Xbox and nobody plays on Xbox. But his like build ups for his team are like so bad and so like inefficient. But watching them is so much fun. He has one called Zerg Rush. Yeah. Which is all uh what are they called? Those little spider aliens. Spider aliens. Oh uh, chrysalids. Yeah, they're all that. And he's figured out a way to make that work really well and he just like goes with rushes and it's Jeez. a joy to watch. But he's so good at like sort of builds like making something work really well and i'm better like i'm almost always an all-rounder like regardless of what i try i'm always i've noticed like henley henley has his moments of like tactical brilliance i think he is quite brilliant i think he's sort of a, a like a genius but doesn't quite know it i think he just doesn't know how to express his genius i think he's a really smart guy it'd be cool to get him on sometime like get him on get another okay. pull up another chair i'm sure he'd have a a, a witty thing to say every once well in a he while. has a witty thing to say Oh, Every time there's anything to say at all, but yeah. <laughs> That's true. He'd, he'd probably enjoy this form. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if he's a big uh, podcast guy, but he plays the shit out of the comments. I mean, XCOM, XCOM 2 actually would be a good game to... Yeah, that's this, a good so. idea. I haven't played XCOM 2, I've played 2. It was pretty good, and they're coming out with more DLC for it. Cool. Two years old now, isn't it? So, yeah. Mm. Not like that absolute flop that was Civilization VI. What a crap game. Oh, yeah, you don't like it? I like Civ V. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but I like Civ V. Civ V is good. Uh, Six is not. Six is just not fun. No? It's not that it's a badly made game, it's just boring. No. It's not fun to play. I think. Was it Firaxis or Firaxis? Firaxis. Okay, so Firaxis, I think they struggle with making something. Have they ever made a game with a narrative ever? XCOM, roughly. It has a vague sort of well, framework of an area. It doesn't really have story. Alpha Centauri actually did have quite a bit of a story. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not too familiar with Alpha Centauri, but... Most people aren't. I started playing Sid uh, Meier's Pirates. I yeah. don't know if that's for Exus, but... Uh, I it's, it's the same people. Yeah. But I think it's really good, and it's really fun, and it's really sort of addictive, but if it had a proper story, it'd be way better. And they just never bothered to do that kind of thing. I don't know if, it's that, if they don't bother, but I think they're just trying to make purely mechanical games. And I think I'd enjoy it more if you had a proper story. I think that's why XCOM is probably better than Pirates. Despite, you know, I love me a pirate. Of course you do. I do, I love Pirates. You are. It's like one of my favorite things. Shiver me timbers, matey. Yeah. The world needs more pirate games. That's probably why you like, you like Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed 4. That's the only Assassin's Creed that I'll honestly say I love. Most of them are crap. I'll agree with you on that. The, the pirate one is great. So we're in me dragon here. It looks goofy. It's quite goofy. See that nose in front of me? That's all engine. What? Uh, Fucking wait. hood. Hood. Hood, alright. See those tubes that stick on the left? Cannon? Those are barrels. Right. My lightning cannon. Those things. Ah, doesn't appear to come out of those cannons. That's because I'm moving. It's coming out of your shoulder. It's in my shoulder. Those tubes are well, in my I shoulder. Like, I should... This 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 build I've used since like this game came out. Very, very, very old. But it still works. Yeah. This mech is reasonably fast for how heavy it is. 187 APH. Pretty speedy. Yeah. For a 60 ton. Target's 
spotted. Drive. 55. Target spotted. That's all I know. Yep, me too. <laughs> I know my dad really likes that song because he was he was actually around when they enforced that law that what? you couldn't go over fifty five. What? Well, like, it was. It was, it was, it was that like the residential. No, I, I I don't remember where exactly they enforced that, but there actually was a law that said that or they 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 made this film at fifty five. Yeah. And everyone was so pissed about it. Bravo, hey, bravo. bravo. What was it before that? Uh, regular speeds like you have today. What? It's like regular speeds like you have today. Regular? Are you talking about on the highway? Right, I, I, I'm not familiar with any of this. I, I don't know where exactly, okay? I'm not that old. Okay, fair enough. But the point is, people were pissed off, and that's why the guy made... Charlie's hiding in buildings. Building. Right, look at me, look at me, Revolt, fighting against them. Eh. Talk about it. Like, that's, like, that's comment, that's subscribe, follow, that follow, follow me on SoundCloud, uh, get, catch me on the Instagram. <laughs> Uh, support me on Patreon. That's that's all the things. That that sure. This concert. Damn, I cannot aim for shit right now. So, so weapon placement on your mech actually does matter quite a bit. Um, is if if your weapons are like in your left side, they'll fly slightly askew to the left. Yes, I can relate to that too. But I've talked about both of them enough. I'm gonna stop. I'll give you one. Well. Yeah. I'm gonna, hard. I'm gonna strike them. If your guns are a nose mount or wing mount, you have to take that into account. Uh, See off top. Oh, that's cool. You can shoot, but not where you're looking. Yeah, your arms uh, do make a, a difference. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's why arm mounted weapons are so good, because you you're much more flexible with them. Right. You See the cross there in the circle? Uh, yeah. The cross is the torso weapons, the circle is the arm. Uh, so, some players don't play with them separate. I think that's a waste. Is I your... mean, if you can point in different directions, why would you not? That's what I'm saying. Target spotted. Also, lightning cannons disable uh, enemy electronics. Okay. Target spotted. It like shorts it out. So it jammers. Yeah. So yeah. some of the jamming, yeah, you shoot them with lightning cannon, it'll blow the camera. Does it do damage as well? Yes. That sounds OP. I'm, I'm jammed as fuck right now, so I can't see our target anymore. Yeah. Target spotted. You no, know, nobody can get targeting data for anyone else, so I can't tell if it's sneaking. Which is really, really, really annoying, actually. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think SM2 would be a good, be a good choice. I think so too. I mean, I'm an XCOM fan. I like the first one. Well, well I say the first one, the 2012 one. I like the old one too, but. but. It's, it's hard to get into because the interface is so yeah, crap. Yeah, the interface is terrible. Oh, we are losing this hard. We're, right, we're down right. four. Four guys? Yeah. And this is a 12v12 match, so four is huge to. Wow, that's not fair. Yeah. I can't fight this guy. He's in assault and I'm in a heavy. Getting fucked up. But not, not in a good way. You little shit. I'm getting rocked by everything. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Did a little balancing act in my head there. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. Bumped around, fired some lasers. I mean, that's what it's all about. We're still down four, so that's. that's... Sometimes you have bad matches and you just can't win. Yep. No matter how good you are, you're yep. gonna. Gonna have matches you can't win. Yep. Hmm, so what else?
What else can I do? What? Crap, we're talking about cannons to your thing and then play them one shot. I'm not gonna see that. I don't find that particularly fun, to be honest. Because we'll die in one shot. I doubt most. Because the amount of time it takes to get into a match, and set all that shit up. It's yeah, just, fair. It's not just to die. In, yeah, I got. I don't know. You're the expert. Sniper mech. Sniper, eh? Yeah. So it's subtle camouflage colors for sniping. <laughs> I can change it. Uh, the whole the whole loadout with this one is um, it's got really long range lasers and an ECM module, so they can't see me. Uh, I sit back and shoot. Six. This is like the epitome of sniper pussy. What's puss? Darker color. Sniping really is like the re like least chivalrous warfare we've ever come up with. Far as possible from the well, from drones, I guess. Mm. Like as far as possible from the target. Single bullet, like never even a threat. But the least possible, least chivalrous thing. Eh. Chivalry's had its day. It did. I, mean, I still don't understand why, like, they're all like, so military conflicts, you can't use hollow point bullets, right. but law enforcement can. Yeah, that's, targets. That's kind of that doesn't make any sense. Like, I can use hollow points to shoot a dude in my house if he's invading my house, but I can't go to war with it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, it's sense, though. There's another, um, in, in this universe, there's another convention. Uh, like, they have Gene Geneva conventions. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like space Geneva. They, they call it the Ares convention. And they say basically don't use weapons of mass destruction. And don't use warships to bombard planets. Warships in the, in this is not the same as don't use the kind of. Um But unfortunately the clans do not adhere to Ares Convention. So there's a scenario uh, well there's a So the clans are the terrorists. Not necessarily. They're not inherently evil. I, well, I don't think terrorists, are, as far as they're aware, in here. Oh no, the clans don't consider themselves evil at all. Well, terrorists don't. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I go to so far as calling them terrorists, but if you want terrorists, you look at Word of Blake. So okay, let me set this up for you. So all right, there's a thing called Comstar. Imagine, imagine, one company owned all telecommunications for the entirety of humanity, right? Okay. And imagine this telecommunications so it's, it's company. Space Comcast. Yeah, basically, yeah. But imagine this te telecommunications company also has the biggest private army of anyone okay. hidden away. So like a super PMC. Yeah, entirely for their own protection. But they also have it in their heads. Oh, so they're not a PMC. They're, they're like the Hon. They're like, they're like security force. They're like a nationless army. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, these people who run this organization also believe that they are the saviors of humanity. Okay. They hold all the technology, and they decide when they're going to release technology to bring humanity up hey. from being cavemen. Right? Cavemen? Yeah. Wrong cavemen. <laughs> so, uh, there's a splinter faction within, uh, within Comstar called Word of Blake, because the founder of Comstar was Jerome Blake. And he it's quasi-religious... Really fucking weird shit. Um, Irish I don't think so. Well, Irish doesn't really mean much in this. <laughs> yeah, fair. Scottish does, obviously. Trying to get the rate of salt, please. Obviously. Well, yeah, it's like. I'm headed for the cell yeah. on Echo Six. Oh man. It's like with most media, where you get you get the Cockneys, you get the Southerners, and then you get the Scots and the oh, Irish, and oh. that's it. You don't get anything else. So it's like that. But anyway. Um, Word of Blake decides that there's there's this big prophecy that uh, the Star League will come together again and Comstar Word of Blake will be the head of humanity and they will usher in a new golden age. Okay. Right? So unfortunately though, uh, humanity has a big scuffle and they can't decide Instead of watching us carry the batteries, you might as well They can't decide um, You just unmuted the guy from before No, 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 we're good, we're good 
Uh, they, they can't cooperate. So the, the second Star League, or third Star League, whatever, doesn't ever get formed. Okay. So their prophecy is ruined. So in retaliation, uh, they go to all the nation's uh, capitals and major industrial centers and nuke all of them <laughs> at once. That's, that's the reasonable conduct. I mean, it's fair. It's business, right? Yeah, these guys, are, these guys are terrorists. That's, that's why it's called the Jihad Era. Ah. Which is one of the it's worst... It's not really a Jihad, it's more corporate. Spotted so, heavy mix dropping in the water. Ah, loudy. It's it's one of the worst poorly written eras of, oh, okay. of Battletech's history. So this isn't like a popular time. No. This isn't the Horus Heresy for, for Battletech. Absolutely not, no. Okay. This is, the, uh, like, this fucking era sucks. Most people don't even bother to acknowledge it as, like, uh, canon. Oh, wow, well, okay. Yeah, that's that's how much they One hate of those. it. Oh, cool. they're like mech marines. Um, so yeah, that happened. What, the, the, the thing that really bothers me is, like, how did these nations not even realize that Word of Blake had all these nuclear-capable ships just sitting outside their capitals? Yeah. Like, how do you not notice that? This is bigger, yeah. yeah I, guess, I mean, I guess you could hide some ships behind the planets. But it's not very... It's not likely. Target spotted. When it comes to sci-fi, the science is really... Well, I say sci-fi. When it comes to, like, space opera, science fantasy type of stuff, the science is really the last thing you want to be thinking about. But I suppose that actually is a genuine plot hole, isn't it? Not really thinking about science. But the whole uh, the thing about um, the most recent Star Wars movie, where uh, the Star Killer base. Did you see Episode Seven? Uh, I don't. You didn't see Episode Seven? No. I quite enjoyed it. But yeah, the Star Killer base is like a laser that fires from one solar system to another. That would take years. <laughs> what the hell? Even if you're firing a laser beam, firing a laser beam, that would take years. It takes like five. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't work that way, but it doesn't matter because it's Star Wars. You don't question the science of Star Wars. As soon as you start questioning the science of Star Wars, you start breaking it down. And it's... Oh no, you, you never question Star Wars. No, it's, it's not the point. It's not a sci-fi. You, you don't approach it like a sci-fi. It's not like Star Trek. With a couple of heavy mechs here. Actually, the main force is in Gulf 6, not in our base. I don't know why it is, but I, I actually prefer having European. Was it? Uh, Americans are just aren't, aren't pleasant to look. <laughs> they're, they're, most of the time, they're, what, what do you mean? Most of the time, they're just rude. They're <laughs> you just you like, know, that is, that is, there's a lot of truth to that. When it comes like, to uh, cops, I, I think. I, don't, I, I hate to stereotype, and I hate to uh, generalize. But generally, when it comes to games, when it comes to online, anything, any online discourse, Americans seem a lot less patient than everyone else. A lot more quicker. quicker I think way. it's just because your lives are fucking great. Like, Americans live like kings, really. There's not a whole lot of struggle unless you're like a really poor type of person. But America's doing pretty good for itself, regardless who's what? In, in charge. charge. Yeah. yeah, I knew you were going there. Yeah. I knew you were going there. I mean, this country's been doing great for like 70 years these days. It's tough to think, like regardless of the life you have in America, it's going to be worse somewhere else. Because I can. Unless you're sick, I guess. But I'm hoping it's not Oh, that was a cool death. Uh, see, uh, I, I actually I, I avoid playing this game uh, at late late nights on uh, American times. Yeah. Because you, you just get some of the you just get really bad teams. Because like everyone at this point in America is either drunk or really tired. Well, we're both, and we've been drinking. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, everyone's doing what we're doing, basically. Right. Yeah, so you can't really blame them too much, but it just, it, it comes to the point where, like, I don't, I don't win most of my matches. I don't have a good time. It's well, you got other stuff. We could play, we could switch if you want. I'd have to, I'd have to stop the recording and start it again. Oh, it's up to you, man. I could just twice it on at the end. Yeah. You're two episodes in one day. Oh, man. Yeah. Fucking getting Get, work getting, done. Getting started big time. Man. Get stuck in. You don't say that enough. Getting stuck in. Get stuck it? in. Well, there's certain phrases that I've sort of turned off a saying because people don't understand. Well, fucking say them. Well, I know, but like this, you gotta you gotta gauge your uh, audience. Yeah, you gauge your audience and gauge like where you you sort of the social situation you're in. I think it'd be quite trying if you used more. Well, I mean, it'd be fine on this sort of platform. So it depends where you are. Like um. I won't name names, but we have friends who no concept of gauging their audience at all. It leads to some awkward situations. I'm talking about me. No, I'm not talking about you. Oh. No. Good. I'm talking about uh, Old Beezy. The other you. Huh? <laughs> uh, I'll talk about it after we're done recording. I'm gonna. All right. I think I'll uh, I'll take this opportunity to. Uh, stop it here, and then uh, we'll go on to the next one. All right, sweet. All right. Okay. Boom.